Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some Oni. Where we were just getting... I wouldn't say just getting ready, but we were making steps towards a, a Draco room that's going to be filled with... I believe it was hydrogen. I kept thinking it was chlorine, but... Uh, here it is. Hydrogen is what they want. To be able to shear plastic from them. And actually reed fiber as well. Um, not that we're short on reed fiber. It's very, very easy to just exploit some natural plants that you don't have to fertilize to get reed fiber. But uh, definitely let's get some plastic generation that doesn't doesn't require coal plants and sucking up oil and polluting and running out of resources. That seems good. Hey, Undead Hunter. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so let's see. We're going to need Critter Drop-Off, of course. Grooming Station. Shearing Station. And that's pretty much it, right? We'll need to bring some uh, pumps and stuff in here so that we can get the oxygen out, get the hydrogen in. Uh, we're getting... We're digging through here to get all of this hydrogen in one place. Uh, I don't think there's any hydrogen in here. Nope. So... I want to dig through here to let all this hydrogen up the top without messing up any of the natural plants. And I think we can probably do that. Also preserve this path up here. Uh, we can probably do that a little something like this. This is already chlorine anyway, this tile. Uh, and then we will be wanting a gas pump. Where's the gas pump? Here it is. And we'll need to dig some more. Well, we're not actually using this pipe, are we? Yeah, no, let's, let's borrow this one. Um, I guess I could use the filter just to make absolutely sure we're only pumping hydrogen. After all, sooner or later, it could run out in here and then we'd have the chlorine stretched up here. Um, alright, so let's remove all of this. And this. And I don't think there was also pipe there. Um, I guess we'll put this one here. It's a little bit closer. And then... What's this filter set to? Chlorine? We want hydrogen, though. And we'll pump that in here. I just realized we'd have to go through this natural tile. Which is not what we want. Um, I could either have pipe go all the way around here, which is pretty easy, honestly. Or I could, like, put some artificial tiles here to block the gas and then dig the pipe through those. I, don't, I, I think we'll just go for the pipe all the way around, which... Uh, Which is not going to be that much more difficult. And you get 100% resources back whenever you deconstruct things anyway. So our hydrogen is going to follow us all the way back this way. I guess you can put pipes behind the plants. That's fine. And deconstruct all this. 
to construct all this. Um, deconstruct this as well. And we'll have our wire following the same path. And apparently we don't need any platforms for the gas pump, but we will be needing a ladder so we can get up there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to cancel. There we go. And let's decon this gas filter as well. With surprising alacrity. How's our exploration going? Uh, it looks like... Oh, we don't have a way to dig this. Uh, to get down here. I either messed up or something fell. Just dig this fossil out. Why not? Uh, and then we've got a neural vacillator we can... Oh, rip battery. Overheat damage, you don't say. Awaiting delivery? I think not. Um, what's this? Duplicate checkpoint, 10 watts. I don't think we're gonna have to power it to get through, right? We've got another puzzle here, I guess. We might have to power this. I hope not. Um, is this another three AND gates? Yes, it is. So, does that mean we just switch everything on? I don't see any NOT gates or anything. And what's with this wire? That actually connects still. It's just rendered weird. Can just break through a wall? Yeah, okay. Um, allows duplicants to pass when they receive a green signal, prevents duplicants from passing when they receive a red signal. Okay. We could just deconstruct it, right? Here's one, here's one of those plastic ladders that we can't salvage plastic from. I like the idea of those puzzles, but they never forced you to solve them. Could just power through. Fair enough. Alright, um... We could also continue with digging through this alternate path here. Um, I don't want it to fill it with polluted water, though. How about... Through here. And we'll put in a bit of ladder. Grab that gold amalgam. Gimme, gimme. Alright, what else are we doing right now? Oh, we got printables. Uh, not very exciting printables. Gimme those blossom seeds, I guess. And... I would like to get this mopped up before... before we dig that out. Also, what is this? Oh, they actually built those bottle emptiers when I was planning this out. Um, yeah, it'll probably be a little bit different. Let's, let's move those. And while we're at it, I'll just queue up 
bringing this all the way up, but I'll put it on a super low priority. Priority one, construction, and go. Fantastic. Good job, Matrim. Oh, we got some eggshells we could get in here. Oh, the poor puffed is in vacuum. Is it going to starve to death? Or is that just impossible for, like, a naturally spawned creature here? Hungry. Yeah, I think it probably would have already starved by now. It's unlikely we just caught it with vacuum in here. We got hatches that are not glum, that's nice. How do we recharge this? Recharge requested, awaiting delivery, vacillator recharge. Don't know about that. And we have another shine nymph egg in here. Hey, Ben Wu. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your early game Terraria going? Alright, we can finally mop up this polluted water. How is that too much liquid? There we go. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Shove voles continue to multiply. Hey, RPHL streams. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yay, Oxy game again. Yeah, this is normally Oni day. I just wanted to try something different last week. Uh, also, my clat wanted to see Into the Breach, which I'm very much enjoying with the advanced edition content. It's tough, just mentioned on Discord, after dying to crimson mobs, I went in the other direction, got cactus in a small desert, then died in the jungle. Yeah, the jungle and the crimson are not places you, you want to be yet. I guess this little airlock isn't really... Oh, that's... Yeah, 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 we've got polluted oxygen in here anyway. This airlock isn't really working so well. It was never meant to be perfect, but still. Um, I guess the polluted oxygen... Why is the oxygen above the polluted oxygen in this in this room? It should be heading up this way. Oh, they're doing the low priority builds. All right. So we've got some labor available. Um, I'll just do this for now. We're going to put in some farms. Regardless, but... Because the Drekos eat mealwood straight off the tree. What a nice pool of polluted water. A polluted lake? Oh, this? Yeah, we're just... This is where we're putting it to get it out of the way. All 
All right, so door is oh we haven't cleared this yet. And now we can't reach up here for the moment. Our geyser has uh, our storage for the uh, brine over runneth over. Next dormancy, 79 cycles. We're not having the slightest trouble keeping up with our infinite water going into oxygen supply. Mop, mop, mop. Fantastic. Alright, so door is going to be in the usual place, and then one tile away from it, we have a tile like this. Uh, and one tile away from it, we have a tile like this. And I guess these farms are going to be stretched a bit further, or we'll have the storage like that over there. And then we need temporarily some mesh tiles so that we can put a bottle emptier on top. Get rid of that. Thank you. And this tile goes here. And this goes here. Fantastic. And then once we make this a vacuum, uh, we're going to pump in hydrogen. First we need to make it a vacuum, so let's get ourselves a gas pump. Um, I guess I'll just... I kind of wanted this to be in the middle. Oh, we can make it out of lead now, can't we? And we can make... Oh, well, we can't make this out of lead. We can make the even better version out of lead. 50 kilowatt limit. It actually looks less horrendous to the dupes than the uh, heavy watt wire for some reason. Negative 20 decor for four tiles as opposed to negative 25 for six. So that's a nice upgrade as well. Um, however, this is what I was referring to. And we're going to have Amy Watt conducted, uh, conductive wire down the middle here. And I think I'll upgrade. Hmm. We're going to have to empty this again to upgrade it. But I was going to say we'll upgrade all this to the good stuff. That'll give us a bunch of iron and copper back as well. Using iron to run out of 50k lead. We've got 50k lead we can use to make heavy watt conductive wire. The 50k limit stuff. Uh, whereas we probably mostly used iron for the heavy watt wire, the 20k stuff. Because you can't use refined metal to make this. Um, well, I guess you can use steel. That's weird. Copper or iron or gold amalgam, steel and wolframite. So the last two were refined, but yeah. Um, this does... Wait, where's our lead? Wait, what? Heavy what? Wire iron? They think the lead is inaccessible again have no lead. Yeah, no, we've got a million lead. We've literally got like 50k. Um, I'm just going to put a very specific uh, storage bin here. And we're going to request nothing but lead. Our spacesuit 
our Atmos suit ducks are not working this second, so when I try to make, um... Uh, when I try to make the heavy watt conductive wire, it doesn't let me queue it up out of lead. That is so stupid. Because I, I, I don't like this, because we get the worst of both worlds here. I can't queue up a steam turbine and see where it fits and stuff, because I don't have resources. Um, but at the same time, under certain circumstances, I can queue up the steam turbine or whatever, and then the resources are made unavailable um, and the dupes won't build it. So, like, if the latter can happen, just, just let me plan out things regardless of if I can afford them. Is how that should work. But yeah, why do we have no power? Oh, now we do. Wait, no O2 is the problem. That's because I didn't reconnect this yet, and this doesn't flow down for some reason, even though we've already got oxygen up here. Okay. Because I was going to move the... Um, uh, the gas filter? Because we're expanding this... Uh, this uh, shaft. I think I was gonna... No. I don't mind having oxygen on the left. We'll probably have the void uh, vent in the middle? Question mark. Or preferably I'd like to have them two tiles apart so that we can have bridges across them easily. Um, so that's gonna be... One, two, one, two, three, one, two. And this is on the left. Okay, so the middle is here. This this will be the void. Uh, the void shaft. Uh, the void gas pipes. So this is actually in the right place. Alright, cool. In that case... Um, isn't this where I had... Oh, it was probably on over this tile that I wanted to that I wanted to move. I, I, I wanted like tiles here again that dupes can stand on. That's why we had to move the the gas filter. Okay then. Let's do it something like this, I suppose. And why don't we just join this back up here, connect that there, get rid of this, connect that there, and have a vent right about here. Hey Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. How are we making a mess again? Well, at least they made a mess in a good spot, kind of. Actually, that's a terrible spot, because now we're going to have to remove these uh, mesh tiles. So why are we not using the toilets? Oh, they're stuck. Alright, well that's relatively benign. As weird as that sounds. Actually, how about... Kevin, can I get you to move here? Can I get you to move here? Okay. Now, deconstruct this. Now, deconstruct this. No, don't jump across there! Kevin, move here, please. Deconstruct this. Are you, are you joking right now? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Dig this, please. There you go. Look, you're free. How easy was that? And mop that up. And now we put back the mesh tiles just so that the bottle emptiers will work. Dude's gravity defiant, right? 
How do you dig a tile from beneath you and then jump off of it? Alright, this is gonna be water. Enable auto bottle. There's an option for sweep only. I wish there was an option for the opposite. Um, so that we only get exact measurements of water, but it's fine. We'll just mop up the excess after this gets overfilled. Come to think of it, now there's already water here. I'm not worried about that contamination. So how many tiles is this room? It should be 94, I think. 93. Oh, because of the mesh tile. Yeah. Uh, anyway, before we got distracted, is this working? It is working, so the game believes we have lead again, right? The game does indeed recognize we have... 66,000 lead. Seems good. Refined metal, lead, top priority, or higher priority than other storage bins. He 360 did in midair. <laughs> nice. Uh, we got printables again, that felt quick. We'll take some algae, why not? Alright, so low priority construction is getting done, that's a good sign. But why is no one filling these, uh... Emptying water bottles here. We need this sealed gas-wise so that we can start. Fantastic. Three sixty wall claw. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. I don't get why bottom priority construction is getting done before basic, like, default priority digging. I'm running out of polluted water up here. Fantastic. This one's actually empty already. Very fantastic. Look at all these lovely germs. Actually, how's our germ count doing over here? It is basically minuscule at this point. There's a lot of germs in the water containers, but uh, the actual water outside that gets sucked into the pipes is very low. Low enough to not make people sick, anyway. The chlorine is doing its job. Wait, was that polluted oxygen? How did polluted oxygen get in here? We got, what, one tile of polluted oxygen? How dare you? Bit more water, please. We need just over a thousand kilos of water in 
each of these three tiles, we're about a quarter of the way there. Also, one tile of CO2. I don't see it. There's CO2 on the outside. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Sneaky. Sneaky carbon dioxide added again. Alright, I think we're ready to deconstruct these ladders here, specifically. That should give us the ladders and nothing else marked for deconstruction. Perfect. They're bringing such small amounts of water. Keeping each other company. We got long commutes, of course. Damage from overheat. Um, yeah, those are not really mine. I'm not as concerned about that. Eight hundred and ten kilos of water, almost there. Do we have lead in here yet? We do. Wait, no we don't. I thought I saw some. Oh, we still don't have the oxygen here? Did I not power it? That's probably why. Alright, for the moment we'll do some... Gold Amalgam Heavy Watt Wire. We'll get rid of that when we can. How's our oxygen production? It's looking totally fine, actually. Super fine, I think. Actually, there's not that much oxygen down here. It's a little bit of a worry. Uh, insufficient oxygen generation. Produced last cycle 290, consumed 460. That's a pretty big deficit. I don't think I'm seeing oxygen coming through here as fast as it did before, either. Question mark? But now it's saturating? Why doesn't it go up this way? This one seems to... No... Oh, the whole thing is going to have to be saturated before any of it comes through here. That's not how I thought this would work. Hmm. Get rid of this pipe. Get rid of this pipe. Bring this over here. And then any excess when it's over pressure should be delivered to the Atmo suits. That was the idea in the first place. Cycle 207, nice, thank you. Chess Jack, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, did I not set this filter? I guess not. Where's oxygen? There it is. Oh, 
Why does it look like some kind of frog thing? It always enters the first input on the line if there's space on the other side. First input on the line if there's space on the other side. Do you mean the first output? Like the gas vent? Whatever the case, um, that is bright. Is there something wrong with our electrolysis? I don't think so. But it's going slower than it was before. Max gas pressure. Do I need to lower this a bit? Let's call it 700. Seven hundred grams of pressure before in the corner before the gas pumps will kick in. Or maybe we should just not have that Atmo sensor and just have it run as much as possible. Five hundred would be better? I think at five hundred it's just gonna always be green, which would be the same as not having the sensor at all. Which I'm okay with, to be honest. It just costs a little bit more electricity. As we suck up smaller packets of oxygen. But yeah, that's looking more like enough oxygen to feed the colony. Vassal Rod, Buvim, Thonia, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 550 was working okay. Well, I'll keep it low for now until oxygen levels are positive again for at least a cycle or two. And then maybe we'll creep it back up and see how it goes. Alright, we got our water. Now we need to mop it up. Oh, you're joking. It's too much to mop up. Uh... Okay, in that case, just temporarily get rid of some of that water. And then as soon as some of it flows out, block that up again. And we should be able to mop it. Oh, and that's just going to flow out anyway. Oh no. I guess that's one way to deal with it. At least it's flowing to where we've already got a uh, pump picking up water. It might uproot the plants. Well, we can just plant them again. It's just mealwood anyway. Alright, but we got our water airlock, more importantly. Now we need to connect up... Do we have the... the... What am I looking for? Do we have the lead yet? We do have the lead. Okay, cool. Um, so which is the middle tile? This one? I definitely want the middle tile to be... 
where our main bus of power is, if that makes sense. And why don't we just swap this out while we're at it? We can't do everything over there until we empty it of, um, of gas. But I'd definitely like to reclaim this copper and iron um, as we use the cheaper lead for most of our wiring. That doesn't even need to be there. Transformer? Oh, what's this? Brian? Sure, why not? How much power do we need here? Like 300 watts? What's the difference in cost between these two? This one needs refined metal, otherwise it's the same. We're not going to need this for... Oh, I was going to say we're not going to need this for long, but actually we're going to have to power the shearing station after this. Uh, I don't think the... I don't think the Dracos are going to mind if we have a heavy watt junction plate. So let's just do it that way. So that we don't have to have a transformer. And I was about to say, wait, we're supposed to have an airflow tile there, but no, we are definitely not supposed to have an airflow tile there. Although I will drop this down just a little bit so it's consistent with our other builds. Fantastic. Uh, now we need somewhere for this gas to go. Straight out of here. Hey, Tumbling Satellite. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. My my, what an adorable base you've got going on here, my friend. How goes? Not too bad. We're just setting up a room to flood with hydrogen so that we can make our Dracos happy and give us uh, plastic without doing the whole oil processing thing, at least not yet. I was trying to click follow cam. He's a bit fast. And then let me just check. Uh, we might want to remove this gas vent before we continue. Let's remove all this actually. And I think it's about time we Hmm. Duck this down here, I suppose. That'll still work, even if there isn't a ceiling above it. Get rid of that tile of gas pipe as well. And this can go up here. I think I'll keep this gas pipe later on. And we'll probably end up using that for venting things into space. But for now... 
hydrogen goes in this way? Actually, if we put it in the center of the room... Can I not cancel this? There we go. Uh, if we put it about in the middle of the room, the gas is going to have an easier time getting out, what with pressure. We also need to make sure we build those ceiling tiles. Nice, happy glossy uh, Drekos, indeed. Remember to keep some oxygen slash CO2 to grow the mealwood. That's actually a good point. Uh, so we'll need... This is so full of polluted oxygen, I kind of want to remove it. Regardless. So we'll pump in a certain amount of hydrogen and then pump in some oxygen after that. Did we have a filter here? Yes, we did. Okay. I guess I could take the oxygen from here while we're at it. I could just set that up ahead of time at least. Gas filter. Oxygen goes here. And... If there's anything else, get out of here. And yeah, we will be wanting some farm tiles for mealwood as well. That's usually why I make Draco farms vertical as opposed to the usual horizontal. More hydrogen to oxygen ratio, so more time for the Drekos to grow their scales. Then again, they're exploity builds, but I tend to stay... Tend to stay without them. So the Drekos wander around at random, basically. And the more time they spend in hydrogen, the more time they're growing their plastic, I gather. Uh, Gnickivd Lob, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, we can't, we can't win. We can't have it like 100% plastic growth time. Because there's no way to feed them if it's just hydrogen. What's their diet, actually? Pinch a pepper plant, balm lily, mealwood. Balm lily grows in hydrogen, doesn't it? Or is that chlorine? Uh, pinch a pepper plant. Air temperature. So if we could feed them pinch a pepper plants instead, that would mean we have a pinch a pepper farm at the same time. I kind of want to make this a pinch of pepper farm as well now. Let's see. Fertilization, irrigation. We'd need to have the polluted water come past here to make the pinch of pepper plants grow. Unless we want to just have a huge source of finite polluted water go straight into it. I've never grown these before. I kind of want to do it now. But we'd have to feed it. Is phosphorite? How much phosphorite do we have? Quite a lot, I imagine. I hope. 22.1 tons. Do we have a way to produce it consistently? Um, phosphorite, 26 grams per second. Polluted water in... Oh, no, it needs phosphorite to make fertilizer. And it spits out natural gas. Okay. But where do we make 
Fast right. Dracos make it? I don't suppose we would be net positive there. Point eight units a cycle. Pinch of pepper plant gives us 10 kilograms a cycle. Phosphorite. Oh wait, the glossies don't eat pincher? Huh. Well then. Meal wood it is. We'll just have a separate room for the pincher if we ever farm them ourselves. But considering that the wild plants don't need fertilization and irrigation, it seems much better for the longest time just to harvest the natural ones. They do eat pincher, I think. Wasn't it first one in the list? Usually go mealwood though, it's cheap. Uh, the regular Dracos eat pincher, but the glossies, according to the database, Diet, where is it? Mealwood, brittle blossom. Yeah, the glossies don't eat pincher. Dirt cheap, eh? <laughs> Brain isn't working well? It's fine. Alright. Uh, I don't actually... You know what, just give me some power switches so that we can switch these on and off at will. And we'll do the same for... The... Can I find a place I can fit this? Oh. Uh, sure. Um, we'll have a power switch so that we can turn on the hydrogen, turn on the oxygen at will. I'm trying to use LTN for the first time and my brain is deaf not working well. Yeah, it's a bit of a learning curve. But kind of like, uh, kind of like train signals, only bigger. It all seems pretty easy once you've got it. Uh, the most time-efficient tips I could possibly give, like, say one thing really quick and it's most of what you need to know, is just check the mods, uh, change the mod settings. Or at least read them. There's some traps in there. And... Uh, in terms of intuiting the negatives as requests, uh, LTN always wants to push that number towards zero. And if you just connect a wire directly from some chests, some containers to the LTN train stop input, uh, it reads stuff that you have as a positive signal, as is the default, just with the way reading from chests works. Um, so they made it so that you need the minimal combinators. Um, but yeah, LTN always wants to push that, that signal value towards zero. There's your issue playing modded. What issue? <laughs> Alright, uh, is this actually almost ready to go already? We're awaiting a bunch of lead delivery, which... Oh, now we're dropping sand on this. That's, that's good. How about... How about we don't do that, actually? Mop that up as well. Mop all this mess up. Sheep say meh, thank you very much for the prime sub. Much appreciated. Five months, thank you very much. 
Ohei suits, indeed. They're a little bit more troublesome than the oxygen masks, but definitely worth the trouble when you have to go this far, this deep. Absolute hype, indeed. Yeah, thank you very much for using your prime on me. Uh, that's weird, they got the joint plate built first. I guess we're waiting on a bunch of lead deliveries. That's a lot of bottled water. Oh, here we go, what are you up to? Cook supply. What? What on earth are you picking up? Cook supply. What is this? No, you're digging. What? Did I read that wrong? I wish he would carry back some lead while he's at it. Carried items, none. How dare you. And what is Matrim doing? Construction supply. Wire. Okay, good. Oh, well, we need this as well, I guess. Let's make sure we get the switch done. Does the switch start switched off? I think it does. No, red means off. Thanks for the tips. I got the basic provide and request down, I think. Nice. Uh, copy settings. There we go. I wish I could get this. You know what? I could have put the gas pump on the ceiling, actually. Especially since we... Oh, well that's in the wrong place. This is five tiles. Can I not replace this? I gotta deconstruct it. I could yet put the gas pump higher up, but then I would have to run the conductive wire further back. I think that's enough mealwood for our Dracos. Probably. I tried looking for your past videos to learn, but it's not available. Uh, I did do sort of a casual LTN tutorial thing at the start of a stream not that long ago. Like a month or two, I think. Pretty sure I uploaded that one. I haven't done any sort of structured scripted tutorial videos because every time I go to do it I'm just not happy with the way it comes out and I don't have editing abilities or anything. I can't believe how long this is taking. One plant per Draco works? Okay, so this should be enough plants that the max the room would support. Suffocating. What? Well, there's not supposed to be oxygen in here. Or here for that matter, but 
Yeah, maybe we should get the carbon skimmer working. Oh, that's right, it's immersed in chlorine. It's not actually deleting carbon dioxide. Hmm. Maybe I should make some storage for this chlorine. I don't think... I think just like the liquid reservoirs, the gas uh, reservoirs don't actually add that much storage. 150 kilograms over 15 tiles. So it's like 10 kilograms per tile. Whereas... Well, I guess it's like one kilogram per tile. Wait, what? Where's somewhere over pressure? Oxygen. Two kilograms. I didn't know it could even go that high. Oh, that's actually a lot. Or did I do my math wrong? Storage capacity, 150 kilograms of gas. And it is three by five tiles, is it not? Yeah, three by five tiles. So that would be f 15... Uh, sorry, 10 kilograms per tile. That is actually significantly more compact than having gas floating around. Where am I going to put it? Here? I'm going to end up wanting to move it. You could have a YouTube channel with amazing tutorials, so much stuff you, c so much cool stuff you create. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. What What do you guys think of if I have some streaming time where I'm putting these tutorials together? Editing takes practice. Did it once, then my wrists gave up, right? Build a fire pole and ladder straight down to oil biome side by side. Easiest way up and down. Yeah, um, there's a bunch of stuff in the way that I don't want to move. Oh, no. Uh, I hope... I hope the AETN isn't in the way. Uh, let's see. This would be... This pole here is the right side of where I want my shaft. It is just barely not in the way of having our pole go all the way down. I don't quite want the pole going all the way down uninterrupted because I want Atmosuit docks and they have to be horizontal, but yeah, uh, that's nice. Dropping the gas in a droplet of fluid? What? Not a big fan of exploits? Yeah, I don't love that I'm using these uh, water airlocks. But it's just kind of stupid how badly the regular airlocks work and or how much how much you have to put into making a mechanical airlock that works. Like you have to you need like double manual airlocks, you need a gas pump to empty it, you need the power to support it. Well, not manual airlocks, preferably maybe powered ones, but you get the idea. The amount of space, resources, time, or you could just have this to keep gases in a room. It's a bit unfortunate, I think. Liquid locks aren't really exploity when you actually put tons of the fluid in my book. Tons of the fluid. Now a 100 gram blob of oil blocks tons of gas. I'm not, that I'm not okay with. I see how it is. Speaking of blobs of fluid, we've got a lot of brine here. In fact, we've got so much brine that when we go to do some metal refining, we're actually going to get stopped by not being able to output the brine here, I think. Or sooner or later that might happen. Uh, I forgot, that's because we're trying to use up this water here to make room for other water. Um, since we're storing our polluted water here, I guess we don't really need to worry about that. 
Did I disable this? Yeah, that's how I sorted that. Dead shine bug? Where? Hey, Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'll definitely take a wart seed. Even if we're not using them right now. The one in the brine? In the brine? The one that was stuck here? We let it out. We got the brine level low enough, it escaped. Yeah, no, it, it escaped before its end of life. Yay, indeed. Oh, this is empty. Fantastic. That means we can have our ladder going all the way up here. Hey, Myclat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe I should get more Atmo suit docks. I could put a couple more in here without too much disruption. I think we already built a couple of spare Atmo suits actually. So that works. We'll be paying another 240 watts just to have these things sitting here most of the time. Or, I don't know, do they consume power just idly, or... I guess that would make them, like, the only thing in the game that does that. Gonna need a bit of pipe here. If we double the Atmos suits going down, I'm hoping we can actually get this uh, sixty thousand uh, sixty thousand lead that we've mined up here, or at least filling up a storage bin. Actually, we could put another one. They only use power when refilling the suit. Okay, that's good. That's quite efficient, really. How many docks can we have in a row? Is it indefinite? Need to expand oxygen production? No, I think we're okay. Uh... This is actually saturated now. Since we cranked down the Atmo sensor settings. Oh, it does switch off sometimes. So it's not quite as if we didn't have the sensor there. The oxygen must grow, indeed. I guess we could have storage for oxygen, but I'm thinking with the throughput of it, it wouldn't really make much difference, right? 150 kilograms, that's like 150, or even, depending on the pressure, 75 tiles of oxygen? That's less than... That's less than one of these rooms. Significantly less than one of these rooms for each gas reservoir. 
So it's not going to buy us that much time. We'd need, like, a good few of them. Like, maybe ten to buy another cycle or three. If something was bad. Copy settings. This is where the lead goes. I should probably prio these at suit docks. Deconstruct buildings. May as well get rid of this as well. I'm surprised how long this last part is taking. Also, do we have this uh, copper ore? Yeah, we've actually got 25 tons now. Oh, and I wanted to flick this switch off before we pump hydrogen in prematurely. It's quite a long pipe of... It's quite a long gas pipe as well, so... I wonder if the entire lot of hydrogen here could fit in the gas pipe. Oh, we don't have power? Construction, priority, very high. What are these other jobs that were under construction? These two right here. I wonder. Deliver suit, deliver suit. Definitely high priority. Nice. And this one's still not getting O2. Oh, because it's all going into this one first. Wow. Those suits can suck up oxygen at least as quickly as a gas pipe delivers them. Can we sweep this? I can't even see what's going on here. Speaking of sweeping, I don't think we need this uh, sweepy dock, do we? I think there's nothing left on the floor here. Maybe we could have it sweep up the coal, that might be a good idea. So if I just deconstruct this, does it also... What happens to our sweepy? And what is it delivering? I see this text pop up and it disappears very, very quickly. Have a nice stream. I'm going to try catch up on your K2SE run before the next one. Okay. Take care. Uh, Gnikiv... Lob. The most pronounceable name. Thanks for hanging out. You need to expand oxygen production. Not sure why it's saying you need to. Uh, sometimes, like on a daily basis, it dips. Diarchus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, 
Larios, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Alright, if we have more than half of our dupes trying to head down below at the same time, I'll be a little bit surprised. So that should fix that bottleneck, I imagine. I quite liked having spacesuits ready to go, Atmos suits, uh, ahead of time, so let's do that again. Ooh, jet suit. Steel plus Prometheum. We got printables. We got ice? Um... I mean, I guess it's water. Sure. You know what I've never built? An ice E fan. Let's give this a try. Before the ice melts. might have power already. Or does it even... Surely it needs power. It doesn't say it needs power. A duplicate can work an ice e-fan to temporarily cool small areas as needed. Oh. I wonder I've never built this. Does it not have a setting? Like how what temperature we're trying to keep the room at, or the area at. Oh, he's doing it. What, for, for like, half a second. Okay. I think the ice is just gonna melt before they really use it. I mean, we're at 21 degrees anyway, and we can't change the temperature setting. Suffocating? It's probably just someone moving through here. I uh, don't really need another hatchling egg down here. And come to think of it, the hatchlings are probably clamped and glum. Did I say clamped? Cramped and glum. Where does it say how many we've got in the room? Um, is it the critter drop-off? Storing four of twenty critters. Huh? But the eggs count. Oh, how old are they? 63, 67, 60, 47? Maybe we'll just let the next generation hatch. No pun intended. Still waiting on most of this lead. We did get the, uh, heavy, what, junction built? Oh, it's made out of iron. Am I, uh, I have to remove this? No, if I remove it, ah, oh, how dare you. We're gonna have iron sitting there until the end of time. How much iron is that, anyway? A hundred. Let's pretend we didn't see that. I was wondering why this got built before all of this other wire awaiting lead. What are you doing? Construction supply, heavy what conductive wire. Okay, it's finally happening. Uh, 
500 kilograms. Just casually lifting 500 kilograms. But in game terms, it sounds like not very much at all. Okay. Things are going smoothly, if slowly. What should we focus on while we wait for them to literally get the lead out? Uh, let's remove this, and I want ladder up here. That's going to be a little bit inconvenient. We're probably going to run into some, some space tiles here. I think I would like it to continue up this way, just for the look of it. I guess we can't rebuild these tiles, so it's not going to look quite the same. Unfortunate. I don't know how we got Paku down here, but I guess we should probably turn them into food. As opposed to leaving them flapping there until the end of their lives. Can we make Haku fillet? Or rather, turn it into cooked seafood? Oh wow, we have 400,000 calories. Seems good. Or is it 400 million, I guess? Why does it not drag like usual. Is it because of the... we tried to continue this while it was saving? Probably. Take this out. Should probably remove... Combat again? Oh, that's just someone getting around to getting rid of that other pack here. Five hundred kilograms, apparently that's a pocket full for these people, right? Alright, so our heavy watt conductive wire is getting built. Bit by bit. And look how much cleaner it looks. You know what, it... Uh... I can't swap, I can't tile swap this, but it's going to bother me knowing that that is a hundred kilos of iron that we're never getting back until the end of time. So, where was it? Heavy what? Conductive joint plate out of lead. And judging by the way the water is behaving, maybe as soon as we put this back, it's actually going to connect again. Okay, Bill, just because the fish flopped and smacked you in the face doesn't mean you get to call it combat. <laughs> Indeed. Can we get this built first? I want to see if it reconnects with the water tile. It will reconnect? Yeah, that's the impression I'm getting. It looks very eager to reconnect. We 
we finished getting rid of all that polluted water, right? Let's get rid of that for now. Get rid of this too. And this as well. What are we deconstructing? Everything? Let's do that carefully. And... All this little wire can come back. I don't think we need... Did we finish cleaning this polluted oxygen? Not quite. Uh, how about a couple more deodorizers? I guess we're not going to see a single ounce of lead in these storage bins until all of these wires are finished up, uh, being upgraded. Should probably have a switch here as well. until we have our vacuum. Or rather, for when we have our vacuum. Too cold. Are we out of ice already? Yeah, this is, like, the worst way you could cool an area, I guess. Uh, not surprisingly. Let's just deconstruct it. Ever had much luck with wires always breaking? How so? Like, damaged? From putting too much power into them, perhaps? We got vacuum. Let's do something about that. Use a blueprint. Curative tablet for sure. I guess we're getting close to it being easy to run a air vent up here to get rid of carbon dioxide as well. Another way to do it would just be to have, like, all of this space up here let the gas get sucked into the void and just pump anything outside the base if we want it gone. But I think that's a little over the top. Beep, 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 beep. Did this get supplied? Of course not. Let combat be joined. And now we can dig this as well. Nice. Combat! They will sing songs about this battle for the ages. Huh. 
Some of this is going to the water sea heaven, some of it's going over here. That wasn't intentional. Probably... I was going to say we could probably get rid of that now, but then there's some more polluted water over here. Fantastic. We didn't have to bring the... Uh, the water bottles back into it. Alright, should we try extending... Hmm, I don't want that water to be falling down here. That's yet another pump we need to set up. I could just pump all the spare water over here. That'll be fine for a while, right? So why don't we... Get rid of this piece of pipe. Add a water output about here. That's actually not as much volume as I was hoping for. How about this? switch because I'm going to not want to use this liquid pump for a while. What's Kevin's deal right now? Super focused. Nice. And switch off the pump. Oh. Where is that water coming from? I actually have no idea. Nope, I still don't know. Oh. Don't tell me that was brine. No, I don't think it was brine. How did this get busted? must have deleted the wrong thing earlier when I when I deleted this it must have somehow got the bridge ice e cooler oh right that makes sense <laughs> is where the water came from yeah you can see it's a bit cold Oh, indeed. Are we not building the liquid vent? Come to think of it, could we not make it so that... I was going to say, could we not make it so that water that falls down here goes over here, but then... but then it's going to need filtering that we've already got set up. Yeah, let's do this. Why isn't this getting built? Sloders on the case, actually. 
takes a surprisingly long time to build a liquid vent. I might need to expand... What have we got here? Like, 45 tiles? 18 plus... 10 plus 2 or 3. We can fit this much at least, but not this as well. Unless we make it taller? Which I should have done the first time. Why is that not emptying though? It sees an entrance here? What's up with that? Oh, it's an as in uh, uh, as far as the pipe network is concerned. It's kind of weird. Is this going to work at least? up again. Trapped cavern? Not again. <laughs> oh, because stuff is falling. Okay. And we want yet another pump way down here. With pipe going... I guess it could just go straight up through here. Should be okay. And we'll connect it to the same wire. Alright. a whole lot of polluted oxygen as well. How about we set up another deodorizer? Actually, I should be able to put it on top of a mesh tile, right? Or an airflow tile. Good riddance polluted oxygen. Since we've already got this set up, why don't we dig through here? What are we printing? Another slickster lava? We're just as ready for that as last time. They eat carbon dioxide, right? So I should set up... Uh, did I just see that puffed scoop something out? Or was it an eggshell? No, polluted... Oh, wait. What are we looking at? Slime.
Yeah, they do make slime out of polluted oxygen. And then we take this away. This should probably be shut. This should probably be shut. Oh, it's even top priority already. Bruh. Does someone just have to... Okay, there we go. Oxygen looking very, very good. Extremely good, actually. No research focus selected. Let's do that. Um... Critter sensor? Sure. Oh yeah, I wanted to see how far the floral scent got. It actually got as far as it was going to get in like a cycle or two. Do we have any more of these? Buddy buds? We have two seeds. Alright, where are we going to put it? Can't really do that. Hanging pot somewhere, perhaps? Could put them in the electricity room just to make things a bit nicer. I think the electricity room is a lost cause, aesthetic-wise. We do have, whoops, we do have floral scent in the nature reserve that they have to go through to get to the bathroom. That's pretty good. Above the stove and refinery together with light so the dupes have a good time. Hello, Schlepus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's a cool effect. And I guess we need to dig in from above here if we're to put a pump. And pipe. Where do I want the pipe, actually? I want it to connect up with this. Alright, we have our big pool of water. We have... Why is this not outputting? Oh, because there's an input for the carbon skimmer that we're basically never using. 
Actually, I want to find out something. If I disable the building instead of deconstructing it, I imagine that will not affect the way the water flows. Errands. There we go. Disabled. Yeah, the water isn't getting to the vent. And I bet if we remove the carbon skimmer... That actually made no difference? Is it because of the bridge, actually? I think it's... Oh, it's not actually connected the way I thought it was. I'll, I'll leave the screen here so you can see it more clearly, but there's a... There isn't actually a pipe connection from here to here. And we did this bridge so it would effectively be one way, so it could go into the skimmer. And also go over here. Fantastic. Um, do we also want the brine to go in there? I don't see why not. We could finally empty this thing. Doxillos, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, that carbon skimmer wasn't really doing anything as well. Because it's surrounded by chlorine, not carbon dioxide. Where is this going? Polluted water. Yeah, I'll leave that pipe there mostly intact for now, I think. Alright. You can just disable a liquid vent? Is that so? Yes, you can. There's even a graphic for it. What about an air vent? Disable building. To make doubly sure we won't be doing that before we're ready. We still haven't finished replacing all of that uh, heavy butt wire. We're almost there, though. Mostly. Unreachable build? Okay. I probably, you know, since we've been waiting for this so long and it's so much easier to build gas pipes, uh, I should probably put the output of this thing where we're already cleaning the polluted oxygen. Oh, and there's a graphic for the blocked gas vent as well, as expected. Uh, not in service. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can also automate it. Like, uh... Like this. Indeed. That's pretty cool. Uh, Buvin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did we get this built? We did. 
but there's no battery charge right now. Oh, that's weird. Why is there no battery charge right now? Did they remove... Oh, I see what I did. So now we're actually waiting on this. Um, okay, build, priority, construction, nine, go. And just in case that needs replacing... Did not know that myself. Yeah, these games have things that you learn after 2,000 hours. Oh, we got printables again. Aber Acorn, I think that's our fourth. Uh, Arbor Acorn, and I haven't set these farms up yet. To be fair, we haven't really had a need for wood. What are the dupes doing bottom right at the water pump? Bottom right at the water pump. I don't know where you mean. Drop the polluted dirt slash mud into polluted water. Bottle emptier. Yeah, yeah, this is just... This is where we're keeping polluted water to just get it out of our way as we're building. And also, if we have a spill or something, it'll come back here. Come to think of it, if they go this way... Um, then they won't let the polluted oxygen through here. This base is so much drier than the first place. At uh, first base? How dare you. Just because it's true doesn't mean you have to say it. don't like that little T sticking out. Is this your second? Pretty much. Second on stream. Look at all that chlorine. Maybe I should... I bet if I'd done all this before, by now I would have set up like some kind of automatic conveyor belt system to bring the lead up. This is so much of it. Looking good. Also, good morning. Discount engineer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh. Oh, it's happening. We're emptying this room out of gas. It's not going to get over-pressurized, is it? It could, I guess. We'll open up this door if we have to. And as always... The deodorizer is perpetually awaiting delivery of 
filtration medium, which only needs to happen about once in a million years, but if we don't max priority it, it just doesn't happen. Also, how did hydrogen get up here? I don't even know what this room is for now. And that's kind of good. That's like a luxury. Just having a spare room. Add some airflow tiles. Oh, this isn't even the right size anymore. So generally, polluted oxygen finds its way to the top, but the plan with the airflow tiles doesn't quite seem to be working out as much as I might hope. We've still got some polluted oxygen hanging around over here, for example. I guess we could make a gas system that cycles the whole base. That seems like a terrible waste of power. What's this not working for? Pipe blocked. Overpressure. Alright, so it's happening. Let's open this door. Gonna need airflow tiles on the floor? It seems a bit much. It just doesn't want to go left and right, though. What's that? Rotten meal lice. Oh, no. An, ined an inedible glob of former foodstuff. That's unfortunate, but I'm not terribly stressed by that. We've got over 400,000. different gases. Actually, it's pretty much just carbon dioxide and polluted oxygen. And sometimes oxygen. Oh, we're almost there. Starting to see some... That's not vacuum, actually. Oh, that's vacuum. It's only happening right next to the gas pump, though. Yeah, we're not there yet. Getting close, though. I want to move this storage bin. Actually, we do have room. Let's do that. And I want to move these. That's a bit of a pain. Actually. What about down here? Water is getting out of the way. Soon TM. We'll be able to continue our shaft. Not before we get this hydrogen out of here though. The 
this one grows two tiles to the right. We got the happy music and the... I was, I was about to say dwarfs. The dupes sounding happy. We're down to the milligrams for all of these tiles, actually. For gas. I make every third tile an airflow tile to get good airflow. I can't really do it with the farms, though. How are you storing your slime? Under water. That's what these uh, storage bins here are for. Why is the desalinator... Oh, this doesn't... Wait, yes it does. Hold up, this is one way, and I don't want that. Let's get rid of the pipe bridge, and... Oh. Wait, didn't I set this up? I did. Liquid shut off. Yeah, so we're keeping this last one mostly empty. It looks like. Pipe blocked. No power. That doesn't help. Where's the power coming from here? Uh, this is one of our old spaghetti wires that isn't connected to the main grid. Okay. I can't wait to completely get away from that. In fact... Just for a temporary fix, let's do what I was thinking about doing before. And get rid of these manual generators. It'll be easy to, uh, easier to remove and refactor that stuff once we can get rid of the desalinator and stuff over here. Now you have germs in clear water. Yeah, that's why we have chlorine here. Um, we're keeping the germs at bay for the most part. There's, in fact, less than a thousand germs per tile where we suck the water in. Okay, there's like 8,000 germs here, but look, they're dying. We're keeping the count quite low. Why do you not use liquid reservoirs for chlorine killing? Because I don't know how that works, and I'm not looking up how things work. Bowshock, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It kind of looks like this is going to delete that tile of sandstone, but it would appear not. Alright, it's going to take a minute to empty still. What are we doing up here? Uh, still in the milligrams of gas. It's all polluted oxygen. Store P dot dirt, mud, slime, rotten food in P dot water. Or we could put it in here. How's our coal doing? We've still got 55 tons. Alright, I think our coal is okay, actually. 
Can we check the trend on that? Cold specifically? Doesn't look like it. Rocket missions underway. Now that's stability. It doesn't pollute clean water then. Uh, I don't think the slime in the storage bins is polluting. Uh, it's getting germs because we're running polluted water through the water CF and dumping it here. It's only slime, so the germs that we would be getting from this is slime lung, but that's not actually getting into the water. Your rocket program has been a constant success, right? This is taking a lot longer, I guess because the room is so much bigger than it takes to empty this one. Not to mention we've got half as many pumps. But we are finally inching towards... Zero gas. And it keeps teasing me. I just want to see that first tile of vacuum. I guess once we see one tile of vacuum, it's gonna... The rest of it is going to be vacuum not long after that, right? In fact, it could be rather sudden. Could explicitly remember you tried the liquid reservoir trick in creative mode a week ago or something like that? That's why I asked why you didn't do it. Yeah, that's what, that's what we did with just the chlorine above the water. Uh, because someone volunteered that information, even though the title and tags say blind. We're so close. Micrograms. We're measuring it in micrograms now. Three thousand micrograms, two thousand five hundred, four hundred and sixty-one milligrams all of a sudden. What? So the oxygen is in micrograms, but the polluted oxygen is more? This tile up here? That's kind of weird. Polluted oxygen down here is in micrograms. Is this going to actually take a surprisingly long time because we're pumping smaller and smaller amounts? Should I should I have had at least one more gas pump? That's one powerful pump, right? Vacuum spreads pretty quickly due to how it works, yeah. Because the gas is rushing to fill each tile. So the moment you see one tile of vacuum, it should be, like, seconds away from completely emptying. Powerful and cute. It's constantly making me think it's almost done. Literally for days on end. And questioning constantly whether I should add one more gas pump or if it's about to finish. The units keep getting smaller, but the fluctuation never ends. Pumping gas is generally the slowest way of getting vacuum, but once the room is fully built, I think it's the only way. Yeah, pretty much. Two hundred and fifty micrograms. 
to 20 micrograms. 200. One fifty, two hundred, one fifty. Removing air is notoriously difficult in real life. The closer you get to a true vacuum, oh, I'm sure, because it wants to rush back in. Up to a point, it would take more and more energy to force it through like this, right? How even would you have uh, a gas pipe that's basically one way? Or into the double digits of micrograms? Oh, I see vacuum spreading. Fantastic. And now the gas pump is idling because it's in vacuum and all of the gas is over here, actually. So there's another reason that we should have built a second gas pump. And we still don't have any lead stored here. Priority, construction, all of it. Can I... Maybe I should have priority 9 to these uh, storages. That might actually get someone to pick up some lead before we need it for construction. You only need one, but there's no... Um, like, there's no wind, and... Oh! Nope, we finally got it. Never mind. As soon as we weren't looking. Alright, we can finally deconstruct this. Let me just double check. There is in fact no gas in here. Fantastic. Alright. Deconstruct everything. Hopefully we won't be needing that again. Definitely don't want to need this. And... In here as well. Alright, so now we want to pump in some hydrogen and some oxygen. Uh, but mostly hydrogen. Maybe even all of this hydrogen, and then just pump in what oxygen we can still fit. But if we go for that, it might end up over pressure. Uh, so is this powered or what? Yes, it is. And is this powered? I think so. Uh, this is not connected yet. The rest is... Hurry up with this, please. Oh, wait, we haven't set this filter. Unbreathable... Hydrogen. There we go. And I want to add some oxygen once it gets here, I think. Maybe I should store the rest of the hydrogen. Filter kissing other side too? Missing other side. No, I think it's there. Alright, let's turn this off for now. I'd rather underdo it 
and keep making little steps then overdo it and just to check oh wait this should be set to oxygen and in comes the hydrogen Meal would wants oxygen, polluted oxygen, or CO2. And that's what we're going to give it. Let's see what kind of mix we get. Pressure is probably too low. 150 grams to 10,000. Yeah, we need more air pressure. Hydrogen is settling towards the ceiling. Let's see how it looks. Pretty good, honestly. Oh, and the mealwood's actually looking stable already. Is this already good enough, or should we put more hydrogen in? I kind of want more hydrogen. Especially after going to this trouble. Waterlock use of surface tension? Yeah, you kind of need it if you don't want to have to engineer too much just to have an airlock that actually works. We finished some research at some point. Also, new printables are available. How do I... There we go. Printables. I'll take the curative tablets. Sure. Oh, and I didn't set these plants. Buddy bud. Get that floral scent in here. Fantastic. Alright, so Dracos. Let's copy settings. Paste here. If I just get rid of this, are we gonna like... Do I want this to still be a... Wrangling room? I don't know, but we can always just build another critter drop-off. Yeah, I'll just remove this stuff for now. And we can use this room for whatever. I have some clunky looking U-bend type ones. I did look at the logic for a working airlock. It was like water is just more straightforward. Yeah. That means we can pick this up. Give me that lead back. Oh, we've finally got a bunch of lead stored here as well. That's good to see. Should we make this our crafting room? Next to all our storage bins? That sounds good. Or just sort of miscellaneous. There's, there's no, like, room bonus for things like this, right? Room overlay. Massage clinic, hospital, power plant, greenhouse, stable. Rec room, park, nature reserve, great hall, mess hall, bedroom, barracks, washroom, latrine. Miscellaneous. All right. So I'm thinking for cooking, uh, apothecary, maybe research. So what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen. Uh, that is sixteen tiles already. We've got twenty-four. 
Oh, and I missed the research and or crafting station. So that's 18. We've got like six left. This is how many tiles? Four? And I think... I think the textile thing was four tiles? As well? So we can't exactly fit them all together? Wrangle the Drecklets? Yeah, I know. Let's get him. They weren't glum, were they? They are glum, actually. How many can we fit in here while they're still happy? It tells you somewhere, but I can never remember where to look. Grooming station? Probably not. Oh my goodness. Uh, so is this under pressure? Growth halted atmosphere. Oxygen, polluted oxygen, carbon dioxide. There's too much hydrogen. Um, or rather, there's not enough oxygen to hydrogen to keep the plants growing. So we want the hydrogen on the ceiling. And I should give it some time to settle before we judge if that's enough. I'm definitely glad I set this up with power switches. That's looking pretty good. The air is kind of thin in here. Aren't, aren't the dupes going to come in and consume the oxygen? Uh, I just realized... It would probably be good if they had to wear an oxygen mask to come in here. That's a little bit unfortunate. You'll need to keep pumping oxygen. Ah, I can't believe I thought of that only... I can believe I thought of that only after building the whole thing. The trouble is we need uh, at least 2x2 two two to make that happen. Could I put it here with a... If I put a mesh tile here, are they still going to be able to get through? I hope so. I'm not optimistic about this. Actually, even if that works, we're probably not going to be able to put an oxygen checkpoint. We can. Okay. Okay. They can't get to the roof? Oh no. You're joking. Uh. Hmm. What if. That's a problem. I could add a couple more doors, but we'd have to make the room smaller and the number of Dracos we could have in here before they're upset would go down, probably. Maybe delete the water lock on one side. I kind of like the symmetry of it and letting the dupes have access. Yeah, I don't see how... I mean, if we're really keen... No, I was going to say if we're really keen, we could have the Dracos... We could put tiles here temporarily, let the Dracos up on the ceiling, and then delete them. But 
for one thing, eggs would drop to the floor. For another, they wouldn't be able to eat. They can't use ladders, can they? Why would dupes need to go through this room if they need O2 masks? Uh, good point. Uh. On the plus side, I think we can fit... It, it looks like we can fit um, an oxygen mask thing, a dock right about here. We'll have to move this switch. Why can't I put... Oh no. Oh no. Wait, the switch isn't... The switch doesn't matter anymore. Let's deconstruct it. I'm just hoping they can squeeze through here with the mesh tile. Let's just forbid this door for now. Get the switch out of here. Copy the oxygen mask dock. Why can't I see it? There we go. Uh, deliver suit. Oh, we need some oxygen as well. That would probably be a good idea. Gas bridge. Right about here. Definitely glad I separated those by a tile. Although, I guess in this instance it wouldn't matter. Make it high priority so they actually do it. Alright. They can get through there. That's fantastic. Alright, we don't need to refactor this anymore. And our oxygen masks are still relevant, even though we've got Atmo docks. Nice. Should have only one entrance and exit, yeah. I mean, if I'd realized when I was designing this in the first place that they were gonna we were gonna need constant resupply of oxygen unless we did an oxygen mask in here, obviously I would have had only one entrance. Uh, where's our glossy Drecos? Did we not order them wrangled? Oh, are they not set to be delivered here? Draco... Glossy Draco. There we go. They look rather annoyed. A mixture of angry and bored. Is, is someone gonna... gonna get on this? No? Now we just need a way for them to get on the ceiling, and I think that is gonna have to mean making the room slightly smaller. May as well make this an airflow tile. 
enough O2 in the O2 masks? Why was the dupe puffing? I don't know. Um, and wrangle this one, please. Oh, it's already set to be wrangled. Now, where do we find the population limit for the room? Storing three out of 20 critters. Auto wrangle surplus. Um. What about the properties on one of the critters themselves? They're already glum. Critter metabolism negative 80. Its needs aren't being met. Uh. Okay, so that doesn't have anything to do with population. Is it that they're not getting hydrogen? But the regular Dracos want hydrogen to be shearable. Critter metabolism. Is it not getting enough food? It doesn't say starving or anything. So this room is about to go from over 90 tiles to what? Uh... 80... 87. Auto harvest is on? Oh, yeah, we want to prevent that, probably. Harvest... Disable... I mean, I think we can probably count on the Drekos to eat before it gets harvested anyway. I think I remember doing this last time, actually. Uh, I'm going to enable Harvest, just so that we don't have this red thing flashing all the time. But I'm going to set the priority on these ones to the lowest. And that should be... No Harvest pending. What? Copy settings? What? Go away, red symbol. I gave you the same settings as everyone else here. What's the problem? Well, the Drekos are happy anyway. Alright, there it goes. Maybe they want... TLC? That's a point. Now, are they ever going to climb to the ceiling? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Can we see the rate that they're producing? Reproduction rate plus 900. The glossies still aren't on the ceiling. I guess I could put a door over here. Wait, they, they went through the water down here. They just won't climb up through it. Every eight cycles, indeed. 3 out of 20 critters. Yeah, but I think 20 is just the maximum that I've got set here. Like, we can have 5 hatches before they feel overcrowded. But I can never remember where we can see that the limit is 5. It's hidden in there somewhere. And it varies depending on the size of the room, so I'd love to know if this little bit of space that we have to lose um, is like giving us minus one Dreco before they're unhappy. 
room overlay. Critters six. Is that how many we have? One, two, three, four. I see four. So probably six is our limit. Building seven, critters six. One, two, three, four, if we count the egg. Is that how this works? Buildings two, critters five, miscellaneous room. No, I see five, including the egg. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's just how many there are. Critters six. Storing four. Huh? Not the room overlay? Okay. Forgot about door in water. Don't have a stable because you did not close... Enclose it? Yeah, no, we do have a stable. Uh, let's just wrangle the rest of the Dracos. And... Uh, I think we can... Just get rid of that one extra egg. Now I'd love to set up some automatic... Uh, processing of any excess population since we can't get them to maintain numbers that oh here's some eggs I didn't see them one two three four five six I think is how many we have if you count the eggs keep moving one until they are cramped yeah But yeah, it's basically functional. Obviously, it could have been better, but this is literally our first iteration. It's pretty good for a first iteration. It basically works. What do we got here? Copper, lime... It's only 150 kilos of lime anyway. Definitely take the copper. Alright, that's been a few minutes. Let's do some words on the stream. And I'm going to take a few minutes. It sounds so monstrous when they eat. We do get a flickering of pressure being the problem. Maybe I should put more oxygen in. Pressure's too low, right? Meal wood. Pressure 150 grams to 10,000. I don't know if we even can get over 10,000. Oxygen. If I can see it all. 2,295 grams. Or is it this tile? Hydrogen. 263 grams. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we should put in a bit more oxygen. But I'll play with that after a break. Let's go... Words on stream. Maybe always prioritize glossy Draco eggs? Uh... How so? Very positive that everything below 96 tiles is less than 8 critters, so 95 and below. So we can probably have 7. In which case it's not going to hurt to like do the doors over here and make it a bit more symmetrical. Anyway, uh, time for an overdue break. Let's sort this out. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Good to go. Nice. Um, I was thinking about how I could get a precise measurement of a gas delivered into this room. And the only thing I came up with was if we completely filled a gas reservoir, which is a, probably a bit more than we're looking for. Definitely not the smallest unit, anyway. At least I got the beer, okay. Uh, so we want more oxygen in here so that the mealwood is always growing. Uh, not too much, though. Let's just do a little bit at a time so we don't have to undo anything. And that might actually be all it takes. Are they glum yet? Cramped, yeah. So we have how many? We have nine critters. Let's make steaks. We've already got infinite reed fiber, so... Can't really justify the regular Drekos all that much. Alright, now we're down to eight critters, and they're still cramped. I like how he took a one last bite before he went. Seven critters, and we're happy. Okay, cool. Um, and I do want just the glossy Drekos in here, because we've got infinite free reed fiber from these plants. Why not use an Atmo sensor in the O2? Um, do you mean to like get the right ratio? Or to constantly resupply it so we don't need oxygen mask docks. I guess we could do it that way. This is cheaper, I feel like, lower maintenance. Both works, indeed. Thonian, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, we're very lucky, though, that this fits with the mesh tile. Um, otherwise, who knows what I would have come up with. Probably would have had to... Probably would have had to reduce the size of the room a bit more. Actually, I wanted to see if the limit is still 7. If we close this up up here, then it'll be a bit neater. So, I'm only keeping this here so that I can copy settings from it. Actually, I guess the settings are not exactly hard to figure out. Let's just deconstruct this already. Symmetry at any cost? Symmetry at almost any cost. And I think we're ready to get rid of this uh, gas vent. Should we put this... Um, should we put this hydrogen in storage somewhere? Where should we store our gases? Probably here. Since we're kind of already not using this room. We can always move it, right? I, I've been wanting to get this chlorine out of the way for ages. Let's do that. How many of these can we fit? Not quite four down here. But I did want to move this stuff up here. Oh, there's still a Draco here as well. Wait, how did we get plastic here? What? 
did we get like just a tiny bit of hydrogen in here that I wasn't aware of? Or was it from... No, I have no idea how we got plastic in here. That's pretty weird. Well, I guess now when we get printing, we might get plastic. Is it enough for a steam engine? It actually is. It's enough for three steam turbines. Wow. What else does plastic go into besides better ladders? Um, it doesn't tell us from here. It just tells us how to make it. So I guess it's not consumed in any recipes, it's just buildings. We need it for critter traps. Gas range. Power, natural gas, duplicate operation, and we can make some nice food. Is that like more efficient than this, or does it give us other recipes? Frost bun, paku fillet to cooked seafood, barbecue pickled meal, gristleberry fried mushroom omelette mush fry. Stuffed berry mushroom wrap, surf and turf, pepper bread, curious beans, spicy tofu, frost burger. High pressure gas vent? What? Uh, and we can catch Paku now. Trapped fish will automatically be bagged for transport. Nice. Okay. And we can make a critter sensor. Let's do that already. And we can get rid of all this, I think. I certainly hope so, anyway. Now I can put this here, and... Oh. No, I can't. Not if we're going to use the heavy what? Unless it was going to be up here. Uh, yeah, no. Let's just leave that as it was, then. Ritter drop-off. Is that enough food? Ritter drop-off. I think we can see that their scales are growing. Stunted scales. This critter's scale growth is stunted by the environment, and this one doesn't have it. Nice. Gotta love Simlish. Oh, this board is empty. Beautiful. Get it out of here. This one too? Nice. That means we can get rid of the pump. And the pipe. Take this down here. And I think we'll get the hydrogen into storage before we dig through here. Oh wow, those already got built. I hadn't I actually sort of hadn't finalized where I wanted to put them. Um but I guess we could use the hydrogen for power. It would be a little bit, uh, 
Now, we've got a constant throughput of hydrogen. We're very slowly consuming coal for power. I think I'd rather hold on to the hydrogen in case we need it for something. Then again, if we're making hydrogen here, why don't I just, you know, stop consuming it for power and accumulate it somewhere? Or I could make another electrolysis room. That would be the easiest way to get hydrogen if I want it. Uh, yeah, I guess for now we'll just stash this hydrogen. And probably like this. That should be more than enough, right? And I want to do the same with this chlorine. Except we'll need a filter. Well, there's plenty of room for that here. Kind of. Gas pipe. That's the wrong way around. That's the wrong room. <laughs> okay. And here we go. And we need a vent. And we need power. How much is on this wire already? Not very much. Let's just use that. Scale growth percent in the description of the critter. Reproduction? Nope. Uh, scale growth. There it is. 33% per cycle. Oh, it's only three days? For some plastic? That seems pretty good. Wait, don't tell me we accidentally killed a glossy Draco over here. Well... We've, we've got them now, anyway. He got away. Uh, I guess they can't reach that to deconstruct it? Or did I not mark it for deconstruction? Oh, that's maybe why... We ended up with another Draco here. Alright. Um, I think we will... Deconstruct these farms. We'll get ourselves a... Transformer. It always feels like I'm putting it in backwards. have some copper running through here. Nice. Why is there polluted water here? And why can't I mop this? Oh, it is already marked to be mopped. Oh, I see the problem. We're not, we're not allowed to go through there now. I guess there's really no need for symmetry here. We could probably get rid of this water. And make the most of this room. How big would this be? 104 tiles? 96. 95. Uh, I don't really have a way to get exactly 96 tiles, and if it goes bigger, it won't be a stable, right? 
So we're going to be stuck with seven as our maximum, regardless. Unless I go for like a hundred tiles minus two and then just have like a couple of tiles up here to reduce the room size or even over here. I guess that's what we're doing. So this is a hundred. We want blocks like so. And then we'll get rid of these. And then we've got two tiles missing already. I'll probably add blocks to the corners. Oh! No, that's fine, actually. This is less fine, but we can fix it. Actually, I guess there'll be no need for symmetry with this tile like this. I could reduce the size of the room here. So this will be a hundred. We could like kind of make it symmetrical over this way. Are they not allowed through this? They are allowed through this. Oh, it's probably this one? No. Let's crank the priorities so we know that they're on their way. It's not inaccessible or anything. There shouldn't be a problem letting this water through here. We should be able to mop it all up, but I'd rather mop this up first to make sure. I guess only one person can come in at a time as well, which is going to be fine once it's all set up. That mopping though, it's happening so slowly. How much water do we have here? Yeah, it's like a tiny amount of water that is spilling into this tile, and Evil Plier is mopping up 150 grams every time, and it continues to drop. Uh, maybe I should have, like, had this as a higher priority? Strength stat actually increases the mop speed. Interesting. But I think it was just that there was hardly any water in this tile. Like, it's only 224 grams right now. And he mops this up and water flows into it. And he mops this up and water flows into it. So he keeps just mopping up a tiny amount at a time. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, but yeah, we're down to like less than a kilogram of water in each of these tiles, so we can probably probably just deconstruct this part already. I 
And I want to confirm that this room will be too big to count as a stable at 100 or oh, 98 tiles. Oh, here we go. It's already done. Miscellaneous room, no effect, 98 tiles. Maximum size, 96. Okay. So we need, like, something arbitrary like this. Just to reduce the room size. Uh, construction. There we go. What is this? Mopping job. Not just because, you know, more than one is mopping. Oh yeah. But there's no room to add another oxygen mask here. Speaking of... Uh, fire pole removal. Let's get rid of this old one. Deconstruct buildings. Specifically. And I want this fire pole to continue down this way. Did we build this already? I didn't even notice. Uh, we're looking for chlorine in this one. Fantastic. And we'll want to do the same thing here. I guess I should make this an airflow tile. Actually, I'll probably need to pump further down to get the rest of the chlorine. Unless this is going to be a bit of... How much does it cost? Mesh tile and airflow tile cost the same. Uh, I'm thinking we'll make a slight vacuum here, so maybe we will get a bunch of chlorine sucked up this way. But not nearly enough. Let's maybe put this here. And... Connect... Like so. Fantastic. Alright, so this is now a stable. 96 out of 96 tiles. Nice. Um, feels weird that we have to arbitrarily make the room smaller. But what are you going to do? And I just realized we probably have a ton of... water lying around because the bottle emptier this is full down here or is that not how that works we could probably empty water bottles here as well if it comes to that wait didn't i block this off I blocked this one off, which is probably going to maybe prevent them from using the bottle emptier. Alright, we finally have our uh, Draco room working properly. I haven't seen one sheared yet, and I don't see plastic lying around. I don't think we have a storage set up for plastic, because this is still sitting here. How close are we to shearing one of them? Scale growth, 66%. 73%. 57%. <laughs> uh, nice. And yeah, in, in a future playthrough, uh... Aside from the other little changes, uh, I would definitely consider making a vertical 
room so that most of it is hydrogen. If the glossy Dracos do wander around like basically totally at random, uh, then the more vertical the room is, the more they're going to spend time in the hydrogen. And we could probably just not even need a water airlock, I guess. If the hydrogen is really going to be trapped in there. But I'm happy with doing it this way the first time. Alright, so that is our plastic production. Why do we only have three? I thought we had four. 77%. We're going to have a lot more than three soon. To be clear. They're all young. I don't want to turn them into steak. Oh, and I definitely want to build this across. I think I'll probably have a separate room for research, so we don't have... We don't run out of room in our crafting area. And also... We have room for everything, probably. I'd love to move the grill up here. Um, let's see. Crafting station... Textile loom, exosuit forge, skills scrubber. I don't think we need that, do we? Even if we did, it would just be like a one-off. Uh, what else? I think that's it from this menu. We're definitely not putting crushes, kilns, or refineries there. I want these where the heat will get dissipated. Uh, apothecary? Definitely. And I guess the rest is cooking? If we do all of the cooking things, it's going to get a bit big. We don't have the natural gas yet to support the gas range, but I would like to leave room for it. At the very least. Or we could just build it and not bother using it yet. It's just as easy. Oh, egg cracker, I almost forgot. Where is egg cracker? It's in here. And then we have two tiles left. Let me just go through all these menus to make absolutely sure. We don't have any crafting things in here. Refinement. We got these three heat generators up the top left. Polymer press we don't even need. Oxalite refinery. I don't see us using that for a while. But we could make it. It is three by three, I think. Requirements oxygen, gold, power. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that for a while. Not until we're going to space. Ethanol distiller. Lumber makes ethanol. What even is ethanol as far as this game is concerned? What is a nosh sprout? Ethanol distiller. Oh, is that it? Nosh sprout. The nosh bean plant produces a nutritious bean that can function as a delicious meat substitute provided it is properly processed. Though the bean is a food source, it also functions as the seed for the nosh bean plant. Okay. Uh, algae distiller, 
doesn't require duplicate operation. I wouldn't want to put these things in this room anyway. Molecular forge. Oh, that's a bit big. That's definitely not going in this room. Medicine? We've already got the apothecary in here. Disease clinic is actually two by three. Oh, we can make that now. Advanced medical care skill to treat peers. Allows duplicants to administer powerful treatments to sick duplicants. Well, prevention seems to be the better cure. But maybe I could build that at some point. Uh, Expresso machine? It's, a, it's too big, unless we remove something. But doesn't this go in the rec room? Yeah, it does. So, so does the soda fountain. We don't have a rec room yet. Maybe that's what this should be. And stations, I think we already looked at. Yep. Uh, we're not using utilities in here, are we? I think that's it. So we could maybe move all of these in a little bit. I wish you could cut and paste. Apothecary. It's probably the thing we're going to use the least. Exosuit. Textile loom. Crafting. Where is it? Crafting station. What's the theoretical max power of all these things? I can't even see it. Probably too much. I could arrange it so that only a few dupes could be in there at a time. Or realistically, we're probably never going to go over a thousand. Um. Oh wait, that doesn't actually make the difference that I was thinking of. Whatever. Let's put these back towards the sides. Station crafting? That's not crafting. Textile. Exosuit. And apothecary. And we'll put some... Crown molding in here. I can't put it here, can I? Nope. Maybe I should have the vents on the outside. There isn't really room on this side. It's fine. And I was thinking a couple of flower pots in the middle. Or maybe one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. There's no symmetry here. I'll just leave it like that. Yeah, I wish it would show how much power this would cost. Why did someone make a mess? They're not stuck. The bathrooms work. Veldak? Why are you making a mess? What? We've got functioning bathrooms. You're not stuck. Why is Veldak making a Oh, I think he is stuck. I think he actually is stuck. And running out of oxygen. My bad. 
Sorry, Veldak. This is going to add up to way more than one kilowatt. But... The power supply is going to be limited to a kilowatt, so I don't think we can break the wires this way, right? And there's only ever like one or two duplicants using these at a time, tops. What are we up to here? Oh, Veldak, right? No one tell him that happened, it's fine. 300, 540, uh, 600, 840 watts. This is considerably over one kilowatt, but it's actually not that much over one kilowatt. What happened? Uh, he got stuck a little bit. Just, just a tad bit. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um... Do any of these have special bonuses other than Buddy Bud? Produces high quantities of zombie spores. Uh-oh. Let's just go Mirth. I was also thinking of putting... some hanging plants, but... we can't fit them in a consistent way, I don't think. Not unless I shuffle these buildings around, and it's really a pain to shuffle them around with this UI. Hey, Night Dancer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, don't tell me I have to set these rules again. Uh, I guess. We should probably get rid of all the regular hatchlings at this point, right? I could be wrong about that. The ceiling decoration is preventing the hanging plant. Yeah, it's not just that, but some of the buildings are taller than others, and I want to have a consistent pattern with the layout. Also, now that I think of it, it actually does let you hang it here, surprisingly enough. Maybe I should shuffle these things around. Why can't I plant it? Oh, there's no room for the plant itself, even though it lets us build the hanging pot. Well, that's nice. What's the decor look like here? Surprisingly decent, probably because of the shine bug. But yeah, it's not, like, bad or anything. Oh, we could put some, like, carpet tiles here, I guess. We don't... Oh, we do have them. Reed fiber. Movement speed, minus 25%. Decor... Plus 24 tiles. Sure, why not? Most of the time spent here is going to be sta uh, spent standing still. And... what do we got? Fried mushroom? Infinite? Oh, I can copy settings. Thank goodness for that. Deconstruct. Copy settings. Deconstruct. Uh, copy settings, deconstruct, and 
we've actually sucked up almost all of that chlorine already. Nice. In fact, we're pretty much already at the stage where we're just wasting energy here. If I can tolerate a little bit of chlorine... Wait, this one needs to stop. So that this one can pump. Because there's a bit of chlorine here still. Let that go for a couple more minutes. And how about... How about we get our vent to space somewhat built? Uh, I guess we can keep going up here. We never did power this, or... We did do the pipes, actually. How much lead do we have? All of it? Fantastic. Would it be overkill to run this up here already? Probably. I would need a wire bridge here. And we need a transformer. Uh, I can't put a transformer on a ladder. Let's just remove these for the moment. Turn that into a wire bridge. And then bring this up here. Fantastic. Did we not deconstruct those? I think we got rid of basically all of the chlorine now. This'll do. I'm not that worried about if there's some chlorine. Um, since it's not like it hurts the dupes or anything. But now there's actually room for carbon dioxide. What about this one? Oh, it's not powered yet. Um, we're looking for hydrogen. And... I don't know what I was thinking here, actually. It's fine. But pretend you didn't see that. And for now, we'll get rid of this pipe. And once that's done, we'll switch this on. Briar plant will grow to two tiles high. Uh, indeed. The ceiling decoration is preventing the hanging plant. Uh, yeah, the plant itself, not the hanging, the hanging pot. Briar seed, sure. Is this not connected? It is not connected. It's actually surprisingly good right inside with the decor here. Oh, we didn't remove the hanging pots. You know what? Let's remove the uh, crown moldings instead. And 
Yeah, we're just waiting on that heavy bot. Conductive. Ready to take in that hydrogen. Let's go. Seems to be having a little power issue. It's not going to take too long, I think, before the hydrogen here is gone. And here it comes. Oh wow, it's like pretty much done already. There might be a tiny bit of hydrogen in a corner. Nope, I don't even see that much. Alright, let's dismantle this. We won't be needing this here again. I imagine. We have a hundred and thirty eight kilograms of chlorine, just in case we need it. For something. It's like 1.5 kilograms per tile over here. So we could fill a few rooms with it if we were so inclined. Jam overlay. Looking quite good. It'll never get to zero, but what are you going to do? Do we have plastic? We have plastic. Or rather, we have more plastic. Uh, how much do we have? 900 kilograms in total. Nice. I don't think we're ever going to... At this rate, I don't think we're ever going to need to worry... What is the problem with this thing? Insufficient resources. Yeah, that's fine. That's normal. Raw egg. Go for it. Rust. We don't want to use up all our sleet wheat grain. Quality plus two. That might be an easy way to make nicer food. So anyway, electric grill on top of carpet. Why not? How's the decor in here? It's about what you might expect. Oh, it's all maximum decor. I don't think we need these plants here. Well, that's good, I guess. Can we do any back wall type things that give decor? Is it under utilities? Drywall? Yeah, I don't think there's any decor bonus or penalty for these. There's a wallpaper mod? Indeed. Alright. Alright. 
There's not a whole lot of polluted air left over here either. Let's get rid of the rest of it. Max priority. Otherwise they'll never bring sand. Oh, that got built fast. Alright. Uh... Power Transformer. Yeah, my intuition is always that this... I guess it's because the arrows slant that way. That this is going to be le uh, left to right. Alright, heavy. What conductive? Up here for now. And... Get some wire down here. Actually, now that I think about it, We've got so much lead, this is just easier. We'll just decon it anyway. Alright, and then that is going to go... to our polluted water reservoir. When do we get rid of the rest of this brine? Is this not powered? It is powered. Is it enabled? Pipe blocked. Pipe blocked. The output pipe for the water is the issue. We could put water over here to get rid of the brine. That should be okay. And we have some polluted water here as well, that's why we have the filter. And yet another filter. You can then set up air tiles and a battery of filtration of the polluted water pool to make free O2 from the off gas. Uh, do you mean the air purifiers? These things? Yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's, it's like a really cheap version of electrolysis. Letting polluted water off gas. You do need sand, but... I mean, how much sand do we have? 189 tons? 190, really? That clean water is messing things up, though. Yeah, I noticed. It's doing a good job suppressing the off-gassing. You can make sand from other stuff, that's true. Should we make a Paku? Uh, tank? I could put it right above the Drekos. Is there any reason... We really don't need this battery anymore. And we could probably... Run this, uh, fire pole all the way down here. water is up here. Not that much, but I think we're going to be getting a bit close to filling this. Oh. Can we mop this? I, I guess we can. Fluids work in such weird ways in this game.
So 200 cycles later, we're finally clearing the brine out of this area. Someone has slime lung? Uh, how did this happen? There's a little bit of slime lung coming through here. Not a whole lot. I guess they can come this way. They're not doing that very much. I could seal that slime lung in there. Just to be sure. Maybe up the top? That's probably it. Yeah. We can use the floral scent to kill slime lung, right? Or was it, um... Floral scent just takes up space that slime lung would and therefore prevents slime lung from occupying this area. I got a bit careless up here. We used to have oxygen masks before they came up with this way, but since oxygen is... I actually forgot to double check earlier that we sealed the the void, the vacuum, the path to space over here. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, oh, look at all that polluted oxygen. It's, just, it's making this lovely room look just disastrous. What a shame. But yeah, I kind of thought, oh, oxygen is always finding its way up here, so we don't really need oxygen masks going up this way. But then I got careless about removing the slime. Um, I think what we'll do is just leave it for the moment. And as soon as we get this polluted water out of the way... We're just going to hoover up all of the slime that could be uh, giving us slime lung. This part can definitely get removed already. Might be easier to just do this for now. Oh, they never built down here. Do I want them to build down there? Not really. Let's just block off the slime. And that'll eventually dissipate, I hope. There's also slime up here. Slime over here. Should just about do it, I hope. Yeah, I was so careful about slime lung before, but I got super careless. Let's get rid of this. And this. And this. It's probably easier just to dig those. as well.
Do Paku love polluted water? I think they're just indifferent to it. Um, let's see. I don't see any mention of the water here. Pakus are aquatic creatures that can live in any liquid such as water or contaminated water. I guess they were going to call it contaminated water and they changed it to polluted water and this entry didn't get updated? Depending on the order that this is done, it could be bad. There we go. Right then. How are they still not digging here? Well, it'll get done now. Inspect. I'm starting my new job at Gravitas today. I'm... well, I'm nervous. It turns out they hired a bunch of new people. I guess they're expanding and most of them are about my age. But I'm the only one that hasn't done my doctorate. They call me Mr. Kraust. It's the worst. I think we saw this one. Inspect. I started work at a new company called Gravitas Facility today. I was nervous I wouldn't get the job at first because I was fresh out of school and I was so, so pushy in the interview. We definitely saw that one. Uh, what have we got here? Cleaning up the mess. I cleaned up a few messes in my time, but ain't nothing like the mess I've seen today in that bio lab. Green goop all over the floor, all over the walls. Murky tubes with what looks like human shapes floating in them. They think old Mr. Gunderson ain't got smarts enough to put two and two together, but I got eyes, don't I? Ain't nobody ever pay attention to the janitor, but the janitor pays attention to everybody. Mr. Stinky Gunderson. Gravitas has been growing pretty rapidly since our first product hit the market. I just got a look at some of the new hires. They're practically babies. We definitely read this one already. Alright, uh, let's rummage. Although, everyone's already got suits, so I don't know how likely it is we'll be excited about what we find. Cool steam vent has almost filled this whole area with water. Temperature's still quite good. Really good, actually. Why is this part so hot? Um, We didn't spill something hot from up here, did we? I don't think so. Hmm. Free bioprinter tech development, indeed. How many critters do we have? Nine, so they're probably unhappy. Cramped. What are their ages? 24 out of 150, 100, 113, how long does it take for their eggs to hatch? 
uh, 34 days? Cycles? We could probably just take some of their eggs. We've got three actual critters here. I think. So let's take... Let's take three of the glossy draclet eggs and turn them into omelets. What are we printing? Pinch of pepper seed? Sure. Oh, slime. Get out of here. You're supposed to be in storage. There's plenty of room for it. And it is rather high priority. Okay, can we research something? It's been a while. Solid transportation? That sounds good. Probably should have done that a while ago. We could get some of that lead brought up here automatically. Perhaps. They still haven't swept this? I guess it doesn't have anywhere to go. Um, lily flower. How full is our storage? It's not. I'm guessing we just haven't added certain things to the checklist. I do wish you could just have a storage that's like everything by default. Oh, you can. What do I want to remove, though, if anything? Let's just go all. Uh, these two are fine. Clothing is fine. Consumable ore is fine. Soil, filtration medium. Industrial ingredient. Liquefiable. We don't want ice in here. Manufactured is fine. Medical supplies is fine. Metal, miscellaneous, organic. No, no slime. In fact, yeah, polluted rock pile slime not in here. And that's pretty much it. Copy settings across. And we should find that we can sweep this now. Okay, cool. Regolith is generally very hot, so you may not want that either. Uh, I suppose. I have no plans to dig Regolith anytime soon. But we could probably have a priority storage for it. Alright, did we get rid of all of the sources of the slime lung? Not quite. I don't want to do that yet. Oh, it's even found its way into the foyer. That's kind of nasty. And up here as well? You know what, can we just dig this out? 
might be a little bit simpler. Oh my god, the auto save. There we go. is melting over here. Negative 2.5 degrees. That filled this up more than I thought it would. I guess since none of this is slime, we can just get rid of it. I'm surprised how much we've managed to survive on just like one smart battery and a couple of coal generators other than this stuff mostly running itself. Don't think we need a deodorizer here now. Uh, the bottle emptier can stay. Is any dupe sick or how is the morale? Morale is probably pretty good, I think. Oh. One of them's on net zero. I'm glad I left that uh, gap. Veldak is still absolutely ecstatic. Wow. Uh, Sloda is plus three. Plus three. Plus six. Plus three. Plus two. And minus two on Ben Wu. Is Ben Wu sick? And is Whiskers sick? Ben Wu. Whiskers. They're right up the top. Oh, I guess I could have sorted by morale. Yucky lungs. Polluted oxygen. 31 seconds remaining. Sopping wet. 15 seconds. Hungry. Well, that's not that big of a deal. Contact with slime long germs. Is at risk. What about whiskers? Eye irritation, holding breath, sopping wet, chilly surroundings, hungry. Contact with slime lung germs. Contact with allergic reaction germs. Uh, I thought we checked to make sure... Yeah, Whiskers has slime lung. I thought we checked to make sure everyone was not allergic to the uh, buddy bud. But maybe it was something else. Can we get him treated? Why don't we try that fancy new treaty thingamajig? Medicine? Disease clinic. Sounds like chlorine? Um, I don't know if the game does that. I guess no one's coming to deconstruct this. Oh, 
Why do we have so many hatches in the hospital? That's kind of weird. Let's make steaks. Disease clinic. The nature reserve is helping with morale. Indeed it is. And whenever they go through the nature reserve, they're getting floral scent as well. And there's a bit of it in the bathroom for that matter. Alright, can we get this built as a priority? And... I guess at least for now we can just power this this way. Potential load is more than the wire can hold, but realistically, yeah, this is actually finished. We can get rid of this. Uh, or can we? How much of this can we get rid of? Let's not overdo it. Insufficient resources, advanced doctor station medical supplies. I was afraid there would be something like this. Advanced doctor station medical supplies. It sounds like the name of the thing in code as opposed to anything that you'd expect to see. It's not medical pack, is it? We can try. Actually, I think we might have made some of these already. Medical pack. We have two. So maybe it just needs delivery? But it says insufficient resources. How about we go to the database? It doesn't explain what resource we need. So that's cool. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Must possess the advanced medical care skill to treat peers. Require power, but treat more serious illnesses than sick bays alone. Can we use just the sick bay to treat the slime lung? Who knows? To the wiki mobile? I'm trying to see what's possible without going to the wiki. One would think what with having a database that it wouldn't be necessary, but apparently not. I have I honestly don't know what advanced doctor station medical supplies are. It's probably serum vial. And that is expensive. Sun nymph egg and a th uh, 300 kilos of steel. Must be administered by a duplicate with the advanced medical care skill. This is probably it. I'm missing a research? Uh, medicine? Nope, we've done all of the medicine. Otherwise we wouldn't have been able to build the disease clinic.
alleviates zombie spore sickness. Does it say that? How many curative tablets do we have? We have 19. When you had that window open. Okay. We should put the buddy bud somewhere else anyway. I think we've got, like, more than enough in here. How about... Well, let's look at the germ overlay. Oh, that's slime lung. Nasty. Don't tell me we need chlorine up here to kill it. How about... I was going to say how about in the mess hall? But I feel like they're already going to be exposed to the floral scent when they go to the bathroom around the same time of day. Then again, it will spread it more around here. It's fine. We've already got the slots for the plants in here. What are we printing? Bristle berry? Sure. Air filters? I'm pretty sure they only clean um, polluted oxygen. Otherwise, the slime lung would be disappearing from here. happy? Critters 6. They should be happy. Yeah, they're happy. Fantastic. Oh, and they're making a ton of phosphorite for us as well. Should probably get some proper farms going. Like right here? What temperature? 5 to 35 degrees. Uh, we can possibly. We could probably do a whole line of dust caps here. How big can this room be? 96. Yeah, we can make it as long as we want. Maybe some insulation tiles would be good, since this is a bit warm. Actually, there's nothing... Well, okay, there's the steam vent up here generating heat, but there isn't really anything producing it consistently here. Of course, we need a fertilizer synthesizer. This doesn't need duplicate operation, does it? I need to start thinking about... Well, there's two things I want to do, and they'll cause their own problems and stuff. How much metal do I have? Probably more than last time. It doesn't work if I just type this to... Oh, it does. Uh, we've got... 55.8 tons of lead. 1 kilo gold. 1100 iron. For the steel, we need 70. And we needed to make the... Aqua tuna out of steel, otherwise it melts. 
for the steam engine. For the uh, heat deletion machine. Let's see. I should get a... Uh... Well, first of all... You know what? I might pump this chlorine up here. I want to remove this anyway, and we could kill the slime lung. Do these mushrooms need water or something? Nope, they just want CO2. Body temperature, air pressure, atmosphere, carbon dioxide, and illumination darkness. The Aqua Tuna works as a Maxwell's Demon. Maxwell's Demon. We got Auto Sweeper. Um, this will eventually go in the Critter Rooms. Smart Storage Bin. Uh, bin. Storage plus signal, 60 watts, damn. Same storage as a regular storage. Auto outputs full slash not full. It costs 60 watts and, f and 200 refined metal to slap a circuit wire on a storage bin. That seems a bit much. Anyway, let's finish expanding our dust cap farm. Uh, I might have another storage area here. Need to remove this polluted water. How am I going to do that, actually? So many things to do. Cool vest, warm sweater, cool vest, warm sweater. Amazing. Why do we have the Dracos in the cold biome? That's kind of weird, isn't it? What are they doing here? Weirdos. Alright, let's continue down this way. Gonna make it a lot easier to come down to the oil biome. But I might want to make sure that fluid isn't dropped into where the crude oil is this time. Wait, what? Oh, there it goes. We got a couple of spare Atmo suits. How should I go about? I don't want to cut through the Abyssalite. And I'm definitely not opening this again. So I guess we would have to go ladder up this way. Pretty much the only option. Hmm. All right. Let's deconstruct this. Dig through here. Wait, that is abyssalite. Whatever. It's like one random block of it away from all of its friends. Let's get a gas pump. Let's get the wrong button. Uh, I guess we could do it up this way, actually. Maybe? 
It might be hard to reach some of it. And let's output our chlorine up here since it likes to fall. And I'm hoping it'll kill the slime lung. Come to think of it, did we store a bunch of chlorine? Yeah, we did. This'll do as well, though. Power. Can go here. Gas bridge up this way. And I want... I actually want an airlock door here. And let's put a power switch. Make that a high priority. Once that's done, I'll let the chlorine down this way. Oh, what's all this? Insufficient resources Dirt. Uh, that is terrifying. Is this how we die? Um, I mean, we can dig a bunch of dirt, but like, I don't think we can reproduce it consistently. I guess I took my time too much, even though I went only eight tubes. Figuring out how to go infinite. Where where can I get more dirt? Um, here here is some dirt, I guess. Is this how we die? The shrooms are saving us? The shrooms? I don't know that they'll... Uh, what? Why... Why are there no mushrooms here now? Plant. Copy settings. Uh, let's see. Temperature, air, carbon dioxide, slime. They, they survive on slime. How much slime do we have? Probably a lot. We haven't been turning it to algae for oxygen. 27 tons. Well, that's going to run out as well. Uh, is this really how we die? How am I supposed to get more dirt, of all things? Or how am I supposed to get any sustainable farming? For that matter. You can get dirt from compost. Doesn't the compost just come from the old latrines? Or is it something else as well? Compost reduces polluted dirt and other compost, uh, compostables into dirt. Okay. And 
Let's see the entry for it. Compost. Hundred grams a second. Duplicant operation. Heat. Bad decor, obviously. Uh, and then compostable. Polluted dirt, mushroom meat, mushroom wrap, pickled meal, that's a lot. Rot piles. There's actually quite a lot that could be composted, including food that we want to eat and seeds and stuff. So do I need to configure our compost piles? Do I need to... Oh, how did this break? What the hell? What? How did... Well then... Apparently our water lock can break. Um... That's not great. Brian messed it up? There's no way Brian would have gotten there. There's Brian in a container for some reason. Veldek, why do you look so guilty right there? <laughs> I'm sure Veldek's innocent. Prob probably. Um, I, I guess, I guess we're rebuilding the, the water lock. Oh, we, ha we have to remove this tile. Your setup is faulty? How dare you? You cannot have three tiles at the bottom of the water lock. What do you mean? We've got three tiles right there. 1,000 kilos water each. And then any amount of water here. I don't know how we would have spilled fluid here. I think that's how it got messed up. Bottle emptier. We need high priority here. I mean, it's been working literally for hundreds of cycles. Liquid, water, uh, enable auto bottle. High priority. Just lower the middle part of the water to V-shape, then it's much more stable. I don't see how anything should have ever disrupted it, though, is the thing. There's no... There's no way for other liquids to get here. Is it because of this? Is it, like, being pulled towards this water here? Can we cryo this? Cryo 5 on the door. Okay, so the water's sealed again. Can we get this deconstructed, please? I guess not, because it's dinner time. And now they're going to not be happy about their mess hole. Because they didn't get the job done and we didn't get to replace that tile. And you just cancelled out on me at 99% deconstruction. Okay. I see how it is. This game really needs better tools to let you queue up orders if you're going to be waiting on dupes like this. Oh, 
Okay. Maybe I should leave the mesh tile there. I don't think it's going to make any difference though, actually. With the far right option, they will do it even night time. Oh, you mean the, uh, this is an emergency? Top priority. Yeah. Well, I mean, they'd already missed out on uh, a good mess hall. Or great hall, rather. I hardly see this as a great hall, but I guess it's what works. We do still have... Nope, there's oxygen in here now. Oxygen... Polluted oxygen... And a couple of tiles of carbon dioxide. One thousand kilos water and a bit. Just like we had before. Uh... I don't know what would have managed to get water here, is the thing. And I don't know what would have managed to get water here. I guess there was a big spill from up top? Don't tell me it was when they did this. It shouldn't have gone diagonal. No, I don't think so. Maybe... maybe we opened this too quickly? Where else could water have found its way down here? I don't... We didn't get the made a mess message. And we didn't see polluted water. Is this ready? Uh, pretty much yes. Had no one to dig in one of the groups then someone got trapped? Uh, no one's been trapped for a while. I wish I could see a replay of exactly how this happened. goes on, I guess. Except for the part where we're out of dirt. We've got 13.2 tons from that mad scramble for little bits of dirt that I could find. Um, but I don't know how long that's going to last us. And I don't see... I don't see any more dirt to be had. Hopefully the compost? Okay, so here's what I don't understand. There's actually nothing in terms of settings for the compost. It is making dirt. That's good. But the the database says compostables get turned into dirt. Compostables are listed as all of this stuff. Including things we can eat. Including things we can plant. Including things that we really wouldn't want to lose or waste. So... Oh, here it is. Once it starts to rot, consumable food should be con composted to prevent food poisoning. Yeah, sure. But that's called a rot pile, isn't it? How do we force or prevent composting of, like, tofu, for example. Think it needs to be rotten? I would hope so. Pickled meal, unrefrigerated. What is it doing here? I don't think it's... Is it here because it's being composted? 
pollution exposure. Is that the problem? It is automatic. Okay. Well, I hope this is enough. Growth halted fertilization. That probably means dirt. Yeah, awaiting delivery dirt. Did we not copy this? Fertilization. Slime. Okay. Slime is fine. And what about... Oh, here we go. Let's get our chlorine. Uh, let's have nothing happen, actually, because they can't reach these tiles. I'm pretty sure they can't jump up onto these ladders, right? What if we had... We've got gas pumps sucking up hydrogen and oxygen from the electrolyzers. And we've got hydrogen and oxygen needed in this room. What if we combine them next time? Electrolyzer room is... Uh, shiny Draco, glossy Draco room. Gas pump up the top for hydrogen. I could use a sensor as a filter that doesn't cost any power. So we could have a... Is it under this one? Gas pipe. No, that's gas pipe. I want an element sensor for ambient gas. Automation. Gas element sensor. Here we go. When selected gas is detected on this sensor's tile. So if we have a room... And a gas pump up the top. And significantly below the gas pump, at least a couple of tiles, we detect hydrogen. Can we change the settings on this? Selected gas is detected on this sensor's tile. I guess it's not a volume, it's just whether there's any. But we'd, we'd, we put this low enough, and we have a room that's only ever going to have hydrogen and oxygen. We have to account for the fact that there's a bit of, like, wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey gas moving around, right? But if there is enough hydrogen and... well, if there's enough hydrogen, basically then we can count on all of this up here being hydrogen. And then we don't have to use a gas filter. If we, say, have a... This is a really extreme example, I think. But if we have a gas pump here... A gas element sensor here... And... If there's no hydrogen detected here, we shut this off. And the only other gas in the room is oxygen. Then we can count on this being nothing but hydrogen. That's the theory. And then we could save the power that a filter would require. Not to mention the whole... Um, sucking up tiny packets of hydrogen. That is not very power efficient. 
So we could have our hydrogen ceiling for the ga uh, I nearly said geckos. Hydrogen ceiling for the dracos. Electrolyzers. Uh, mealwood. And we just pump out oxygen as much as we can to keep the base uh, oxygenated. And we should not need a gas filter. Uh, and from what I've seen so far, all of these sensors just don't cost any power. Yeah, I think that'll work. So we could have we could similarly have a sensor. Where was my little example room? Uh oh. One day they're going to build that, and I'm going to be very confused as to why. Unless we're going to die for lack of dirt. Oh, it was here, wasn't it? And I deleted it. So... If we have, uh, similarly, a... Probably a second, uh, gas element sensor down below. Or, yeah, slightly below the other one. And we have to detect oxygen. Or probably just like a couple of tiles above the gas pump. If we detect oxygen there, then... If we detect oxygen like here, we can probably assume that we're not going to suck in hydrogen. With the one at the bottom. And we could have an AND gate with uh, atmo atmospheric pressure as well, so that we're not running the gas pumps when the air is thin. And there would be probably less of a problem with... I don't know, you'd probably still want to put the gas pump, or a couple of gas pumps next to the electrolyzers because they reach max pressure very, very easily. Even when you're trying to keep this like a vacuum. Yes, you'd need an AND gate with the element sensor and ATMO sensor to get a reading on density and element. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Unless... Well, I guess it, you'd still need a logic gate. Um... Red is a lack of a signal, right? And green is a 1 as opposed to a 0. So if you used a NOT gate, it's kind of like a NAND gate, right? A NOT AND gate? Or the inverse of an AND gate? They have to both be off for you to get... No, a NAND gate would make the green signal if it was receiving two red ones. Or does this... Outputs a green signal if the input is receiving a red. Outputs red if its input is receiving a green. Okay. So if they're both off, it'll output green. So that is like a reverse AND gate. Or an AND gate. Right? You could use a slightly smaller... You can configure this one to be above or below. I don't know. You could probably only configure the gas element sensor as just binary. So it's going to be green when the specific resource is detected. Since there's only two gases in the room, you could set it to the inverse of what you're actually looking for. Maybe not. Probably just use the AND gate. It's probably fine. An Atmo sensor on the same height as the pump would work too, I think, since if both the pump and the sensor are at the topmost point, it could only ever be hydrogen. 
if we're at the very top and we detect hydrogen and we detect a certain pressure of hydrogen, you might be right about that. Actually, consider... I know this isn't a tall room, but considering the pressure I can see... Hmm. I think I'd rather have the element sensor a couple of tiles above or below. Just to be safe. Not in a four tile high room, but in a taller room. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, uh, this is the kind of thing that you don't know going into a production chain that you're not familiar with. But yeah, uh, we have two rooms that are going to have hydrogen and oxygen in them. We may as well make them one room. Except it would have to be 96 tiles maximum. But we wouldn't need an airlock is the nice thing. Um, so the door's definitely going to be at the bottom. Do I have room to, like, design this somewhere? Or how about we jump into sandbox? I think I want to sandbox this. I want to see it. Uh, main menu. And I think we have a saved game that's sandbox. Here we go, sandy box. Wait, did I save? Surely I saved. Well, uh, I hope so. There's an autosave anyway, right? Right. Uh, how do I use, like, the admin tool? I don't remember. Sandbox? Here we go. We toggle that on and off. Destroy. Uh, big brush. I think it turns all of this into vacuum as well. Yeah, it does. Oh, and I actually, like, lost the scenario last time because I accidentally destroyed, like, all of the dupes in the printer <laughs> in about half a second. All right, so then we have tiles. We want 96, which is... I don't know how wide this should be. Let's start at the bottom. And think about... Electrolyzer? Do we even need to pump the oxygen out? What if the answer is probably? Because this, it's going to build up too much pressure in one place. Let's just go with our old ratio that we figured out for the first draft. And we're going to have the gas pumps directly next to the electrolyzer to get that air pressure back down as quickly as possible. Um, and we're going to have probably just a door like so. If that. It could even probably be a pneumatic door. Right? Uh, to destroy. And then... 96 tiles. That is... Not that many. 98, 96. This is as small as it could be horizontally. Maybe that's what I want to do. 
And we could add some... Well, to be honest, I could pump the hydrogen somewhere else. We don't have to put the uh, hydrogen generator in the same room. If I do, I would need to make four tiles uh, uh, something like airflow tiles. But I don't think we should do that. Especially if we're going to have our Drecos in here. It's probably going to generate heat and be a problem. We can move that heat somewhere else. So then we have gas pump up the top in the middle. Um... Let's just go up here. For our little test. Hydrogen generator. I think its input is here. Whatever. Inductive wire. Gas pipe. This is our theoretical um, we had this plus a filter and it can theoretically run itself but we lose some inefficiency we lose some efficiency with things like dot oh, what am I doing we lose some inefficiency with stuff like not getting a good packet size with the gases. Um, so down here I want some water. Let's just do this. And... How do I make water? There's a way to just spawn it, right? Fill, brush, here we go, brush, water, liquid, at 20 degrees, sure. Can we go bigger? This'll do. Oh wow, how much was that? Oh, because this was vacuum? That's probably what? what? Oh. Um. Nothing to see here. It's probably fine. Now then, let's get a pump. That's a filter. And pipe. Hey, Lolilo. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Same chaos as in the colony. Um, no, no. It, there's nothing, nothing of the sort going on here. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. In fact, there's, there's no, there's no polluted water here. Not, not a single drop. Don't worry. We would never <laughs> wrench the colony in water from above. Doing just fine. We can just start it. Fantastic. Glad to hear it. Alright, so we got our water. Um, I'm pretty sure... Let's see. 240, 240, 120, 240. That is 720... 840, 9, 900, 1100. We're not running all of that off of one hydrogen generator. Um, hundred and twelve grams per second, and this is like 
less than that. Doesn't say here. I want to see if we can't have this part run itself. Oh, it's more pumps now, though. We got rid of the filter, but this is more pumps. But it won't be running 24-7 like this. It'll be waiting until... Until there's enough pressure to get a good gulp. I do want to run this on power from somewhere else, though. How much power do we have? Uh, an amount. Let's put this here. I can't actually about this. Joint plate. This can go here. Luckily been a slow and relaxing week. That's the way it should be. Fantastic. Alright, so our pump is working. Good, good, good. Um... We need a kickstart for our electrolyzer. Let's make a power switch. Right about here. And... How much power is on this? Current load 1.2 kilowatts. Let's just connect this directly. What's the worst that could happen? All right, so we have gas. And we're going to do some sensors. Most importantly, liquid element sensor. A couple of tiles below, a couple of tiles above. Our oxygen and hydrogen gas pumps. Rocketry, how exciting. Automation wire goes here. I think we want the electrolyzer working unconditionally. And we want to wait, we want pressure as well. So, Atmo sensor. And we need an AND gate, I think. How can we configure this? Not at all. Oh, this is a liquid. Uh, get out of here, liquid. Gas element sensor. Liquid sensors? Yeah, it, they look very similar. So the only way we can configure this is which element it's looking for. Um... What does it cost to make? Not gate, and gate, it's the same. It's just the size of it that would ever be a consideration. But I did want to see if I could figure out the logic of this. Um, if we could squeeze it into a not gate. So this can be inverted by its setting. This cannot. However, there's only two... Uh, there's only two things we're looking for. In fact, I feel a bit safer saying we don't want to find hydrogen here than saying we want to find oxygen before we activate these pumps. So what if we say hydrogen? Uh, pressure is below some amount. And then we say not gate. So if either of those conditions are met, if we detect hydrogen, or if pressure is below X, we want a red signal. Yeah, that works. Although I've put it in slightly the wrong place. Let's just do this for now.
Won't the hydrogen not always pass by when it's produced? Uh, probably. In which case I would not want the gas pumps to trigger. Yeah, that's, uh... Maybe the electrolyzer should be, like, in the middle, actually. I'm guessing it needs a floor. Why can't I build this? I see. I think... I think the cheat placement of it has to have a floor to start with. Alright, so... That means our room size is going to drop from the perfect 96. Hmm, how many tiles is this? Six? It doesn't have to be six tiles wide if we're putting the electrolyzer in the middle. Let's just remove those for now. So we could have, like, two gas pumps down the bottom. I almost forgot we're going to want... Um, we're going to want room for the... For the wrangling stuff. Let's go drop off. Actually, I should have started with something else. We want... Is it not under the same menu? I don't think it is. Station, grooming station, and shearing station. Grooming station, shearing station, and... Create a drop off. So six is still the bare minimum for how wide this could be. And then we want gas pumps above those. Two for oxygen. One, well, considerably less than one overall for hydrogen. And it seems like our gas pump has gotten a little bit overexcited and is about to damage the poor hydrogen generator. Scalding? Don't get scalded. Oh, is... Oh, no. Nisbet, no! Um... Could you maybe not scold yourself to death, actually? Rip, Nisbet. Won't not the hydrogen not always pass by when it's produced? Yay. Yeah. Okay, so... Electrolyzer. We're gonna need a couple of airflow tiles. which is going to reduce the room size from the magical 96. Oh! Oh, it doesn't reduce the... Yes, it does. I just had to wait like two ticks. How rude. All right, electrolyzer. Well, melted sand is kind of hot. Yeah, apparently. Who, who knew they would just operate it until they died, though? Um, if we arbitrarily increase... the number of tiles here... if we make the room slightly bigger... I think it was up here. That is 108 minus 6. That's not what we're looking for. 102 minus 6.
Okay. Um, gas element sensor. A couple of tiles above or below our pumps. This pump right up the top. This, these pumps just above the stations. Uh, we'll use our little not gate logic. Gas element plus pressure. Where is it? Atmo sensor. And then not gate. And that's not electric wire. There we go. So the conditions here would be not uh, neither signal below x, uh, neither ambient pressure below x grams, nor hydrogen detected. Maholic, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream? Factorio, fantastic. Uh, and then same thing up here. We want neither atmospheric pressure below X, nor maybe I should move the Atmo sensor closer to the gas pumps, but that's sort of beside the point for the moment. Okay, how's gas logics? Figuring it out. Uh, today I noticed that, oh, um, the Draco, uh, what is it called? The stable for the Dracos? And also electrolysis gives, uh, we need oxygen and hydrogen. And I just realized there's no room for farm tiles here. So there's that. We're going to have to make it wider. But looking okay so far. How many how many farm tiles of mealwood do we need to support Dracos? Um Do I have a Draco I can click on? Make it easy. What is this? Solar panels. I didn't put those there, did I? Or maybe I did. No, I probably did. <laughs> I think I vaguely remember. Uh, I think we're going to have to look them up. Oh, here's a Draco. So can we see diet? Mealwood. Looks like a lot of power requirements in that room. Yes, definitely. Uh, where do we find how much mealwood they need? Diet mealwood. Uh, health, wildness, age, scale growth. Do they have to be domesticated for us to see how many calories they need or whatever? Just enjoying life, you know? How many mealwood plants did we have in our game? I'm guessing we need at least one tree for each draco. Uh, and we can do, what, eight dracos if we have 96 tiles? So we would need... Minimum... Uh, eight farm tiles. And suddenly our room is getting much wider. Unless we have like a ladder. Well, we already have to have some excess airflow tiles because we're going for exactly 96 tiles. So maybe... Maybe, maybe... Something like this. 
the info tab might have it on the Draco. Simply Coco, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, info tab. Oh, information, the drop-down thing under the status tab. Yeah, we've seen this. It tells us that they eat mealwood, but that's about it. Oh, is this it? 25% growth per cycle. So they need a quarter of a mealwood plant per cycle? They need one fully grown mealwood every four cycles, is that it? And this takes how long to grow? 12 cycles. Doesn't that mean we would need uh, three? Is that right? The library? Shop, um, let's see, if this takes 12 cycles to get one and we would need 12 if it was like 100%. It's a quarter of that. So it's three. Three mealwood plants per Draco, I believe. Which means 8 times 3, 24? That doesn't sound right. We don't have 24 plants in, in our Draco room and they're not getting hungry. Will you use wild mealwood or domesticated? Domesticated. But they grow at the same rate, don't they? I think. Uh, let's see. Farm tile. Can I just spawn? Or do I have to get... I guess I could get the tubes to plant this. Domesticated is three cycles. Okay. Halted fertilization. They planted that really quick. Life cycle, 12 cycles. It's the same. This plant will take 12 cycles to grow in the wild. Oh, okay. Fertilization. Growth will resume when conditions improve. It needs dirt. Uh, have some dirt. Alright, delivered dirt. Growing. Next harvest, three cycles. Okay. So that means we need a quarter? A quarter as many as I thought. And I thought we needed, what was it, three per Draco? Three cycles for one meal word. Um. Where was it? Four cycles. Oh, that is such an awkward number. So one plant is uh, a bit more than enough for one Draco. This needs... Mealwood once every four cycles, it grows once every three. We have eight. Uh, that would be... Two mealwood per cycle? I think I can mentally convert that. Two mealwood per cycle... We would need three for it to be one. We need six, okay. Six mealwood. Preferably down here, maybe? Six for eight Dracos. Yes, I believe that's correct. Even though my brain is turned to mush for the moment. Um, so. How do we fit all this stuff and have 96 tiles and do our electrolysis as well? I'm glad I didn't try this in-game. That would have been tricksy. 
Um, I'm just going to delete this for now. I'm pretty confident I figured that much out. How vertical do we want to go here? This is 96 tiles. So this is too wide. If we're going to use gravity to filter our uh, gases, as far as I'm concerned. What if... I doubt we can do it in six. But maybe something close to that? We could put the plants here. 96 would be pretty tall. We could probably go like 8. Put the grooming station here. Because that's the only one that's two tiles wide, I think. Credit drop off is 1. Uh, cheering station is 3. Grooming station is 2. And then... Ninety-six would be about... here. But it's actually going to be a bit taller because we're going to use airflow tiles. We want... the electrolyzer. Oh, we need room for ladders. If we're going to do this. In which case... How about drop off and up here we'll have maybe right here even? No, I, I think I want the gas, uh, the gas pumps as low as possible for the oxygen. So trees go here, gas pumps go here. Do they have to be in the middle? I think the middle's fine. And they don't need to be, sus they, they can be just suspended. So these will be airflow. I think we'll be fine trying to figure this out, because the more airflow tiles we make, the more we have to push this back up, so we can just figure that out. Uh, but this is where we're going to put the uh, grooming station and shearing station. And I actually do want the Dracos to be able to climb up here. Seems good. Can we put the sensors behind them? Atmo sensor, we cannot. Alright, I think I'd like the station to look a bit more like this. Atmo sensor here. No, Atmo sensor down at the level of the gas pumps, but element, gas element sensor two tiles above them. And then up above this, we'll have our electrolyzer. Oh, we need a logic gate as well, but we can definitely squeeze that in somewhere. We can even put it like right here. Automation wire, like so. And how many tiles is this? It is, this is 96, but we've also got uh, six, seven, eight. And it's eight tiles wide, that's actually perfect. 
Uh, room size is looking a bit big. There we go. 128. 96. Huh. I could always just add more airflow tiles to make it bigger. I might have to. Or we could even have like a kind of like a triangle shape up the top. I don't think that's particularly necessary. Let's keep going up. Well, the dupes don't actually generally need to come here, but I suppose in the event that they need to do maintenance, that helps too. How many tiles is this now? 118. It's a bit much. This looks really weird and I don't like it. But maybe it's the way to go. Uh, I think I would like to have gas element sensor at least a couple of tiles above this. Could I maybe... Hmm. Maybe if I go a bit wider, I could put the electrolyzer on this floor. In fact, one tile wider, or even put this here. No, I don't want the electrolyzer so close to the gas pumps. Do the critters even have a way of getting on the platforms? They don't need one. Oh, wait, they do in this case. Good point. So that adds a couple more airflow tiles. Potentially. But yeah, we could fill more of this up, I guess. It's gonna... Uh, the cost of this room is increasing. It's only 100 metal for airflow tiles, but still. I didn't actually think it would be this difficult. Um, yeah, I don't want the electrolyzer that close to the gas pump if we're using gravity as a filter. Uh, Zarikeld, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I want a couple of tiles above the gas pumps, gas element sensor. If we detect hydrogen, we're not going to pump. And conversely, a couple of tiles below the one up here, if we detect oxygen, we're not going to pump. And the electrolyzer should probably be a couple of tiles above this. Right? I imagine. Do we have room for... We do not. For our shearing station and stuff. I guess I can put it here. That would mean the Drekos can get to it, after all. Station, shearing station, grooming station. What's the size of the room right now? 127.
I think I was muted. I was just saying, this is it, this is what I want to build, but I hate... I hate the airflow tiles that it takes to make this work this way. Maybe we don't have to have so many tiles above or below. You know, if we're looking for... If we're looking for the gas that we don't want to suck in with the gas pump, uh, maybe just one tile above is fine, actually, for the sensor. And maybe it doesn't have to have this much of a gap. So we'll do... Sensor. Uh, airflow tile. As close as possible. Electrolyzer. This is one, two tiles away. One, two. And gas pump up here. And then the question is more, where do we find room for our critter stuff? Aladisparta. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. To the critters. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, we could just have a floor up here for the critter stuff, I guess. I'm an Italian Oni streamer. Okay. Nice meeting. So we're going to put our stations up here. Grooming, shearing, and how many tiles is this? 119. That's still too many. Do we dare put this as close as possible? I mean, we're in sandbox mode. We may as well try it. Station... Uh, what are we down to? Oh, it still says 119, because I didn't fill this in. 111. We need to lose, uh, 15 tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I hate this. We're going to have arbitrary... We've already got arbitrary airflow tiles. But now it really is going to look like we have arbitrary airflow tiles. I'm surprised how difficult it is to fit this. I thought 96 would be plenty. Uh, especially considering how compact our other design was. It was like... Electrolyzer... Whoops. Let me get some floor up here. Electrolyzer, gas pump, gas pump. And we squeezed a hydrogen generator in right next to it. And we had, I believe, a gas filter. Right about here. And this went here. And this went out this way. Uh, and that was the whole thing. But because the gas pumps are right next to the electrolyzer, and we have a gas filter, we're trying to use gravity and space as our filter this time. And we're also trying to squeeze in... I mean, we have squeezed it in. We need the room to be smaller. Um, for this to be... The magical 96 tiles. I just hate how we have all these arbitrary airflow tiles. But that is a... How big is this? 8 by 14? 8 by 15. It is an electrolysis room and a Draco farm. So we're just going to pump oxygen out 
of the room until we're at max pressure. We should probably set a... We should look for a large amount of oxygen before we pump it out so that the mealwood will grow. Or whatever, just make sure we have enough pressure for the mealwood to grow. Um, Atmo sensor can go way down here. Not gate. Wire. Like so. Get out of here, other Atmo sensor. And up here we have... Wait, this was supposed to be up the top. Oh, there's plenty of room above it. I think I derped somewhere along the way. Can we maybe pull this off a bit different? How big is this? 102. 94. Okay. So that's 96 tiles. That doesn't look as bad. If we have our hydrogen up here... We've actually got as much room as we'd like to put the sensor a bit lower. Rooming, cheering, uh, element sensor. If there's oxygen, a couple of tiles. Uh, a couple of tiles below, I do not want to pick it up. And pressure. Not gate. Could actually have gone like here, that's fine. Okay. Um, I want the grooming, uh, the shearing station just getting power from somewhere else. everything else on its own circuit. Alright, I'm actually just going to take a quick break. Uh, let's do some words on stream. We'll start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. Let's continue, shall we? And we're getting pretty close to a decent design here, I hope. Um, let's see. If we... We're using a not gate for an and condition. We want it to not be oxygen detected. Oxygen... Oh, it's breathable, isn't it? And we want it to not be below X uh, atmospheric pressure. We want it to not be below X atmospheric pressure. We want to not detect hydrogen. That should be our circuit logic. And then... We're going to pump hydrogen up here. And I guess... I have a hydrogen generator. I'd like to see if this thing can run itself. And then we got power. Let's just use conductive wire for this. Uh, conductive wire bridge. And I'll use a... Let's delete this for a sec. Uh, transformer, power switch, connect these up here, that should be fine, and connect these like so. Switch that off for the moment. Water goes into the electrolysis machine. Power goes in. Oh, did we not? Oh. I didn't kill the gas in here yet. Polluted oxygen is up the top. We need to we need this to be Well, if not uh What's the word I'm looking for? If not Vacuum, we need this to have only oxygen and hydrogen. Um, so... Oh, which means we can't... Damn it. Well, okay, that's going to be outside. No, I was going to say... No, half the point of this build is so that we don't need the oxygen masks, right? If a dupe comes in here breathing CO2, um, it should get pushed out. But polluted oxygen is a big no-no. Uh, we need that out of here. CO2 is heavier than oxygen, so it'll come down here. All the more reason this would have to be not an airlock. Hmm. Maybe I should have a vertical door from below for this. That might actually make a ton of sense. No, because polluted air could somehow... make its way in. Maybe I'm thinking, overthinking this too much for the moment, for the testing we're trying to do here. Can I delete gas and nothing else? Or do I have to destroy, like, everything? I certainly hope not.
We could just run all of the pumps except this one. To get everything out of there. Okay, let's just not connect the power for that one yet. Switch goes on. I don't know why up is on and down is off, but okay. Uh, I don't want to run the electrolyzer either, now that I think about it. Alright, so these pumps... Sending a red signal. Detecting hydrogen, not. Uh, atmospheric pressure is below the level we're looking for, actually. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to invert this for the moment. How long until this is empty? Not too long, I hope. I could have this pump, or a pump here, spit it out as well. Maybe if we need to turn it into vacuum the first time, this build is a little bit pointless. Because the idea is we don't really need a proper airlock or oxygen masks or anything. If we can prov... I think polluted oxygen is probably going to find its way in here at some point. But, is hydrogen lighter than polluted oxygen? Uh, it would appear it is. Okay. Yeah, I think we can ignore it. We could maybe put some air purifiers in there just to be... Just to clean it up, but... I think we can rely on... I think we can rely on polluted oxygen not to get sucked into this, just the same as oxygen. Um, because this has to be immersed in hydrogen. That's what the logic is for here. This has to be immersed in hydrogen before we're going to suck hydrogen in through this gas pump. We're basically using circuit logic as uh, circuit logic, gravity, and a bit of space as a filter that doesn't cost us any electricity. Hydrogen's the lightest element? That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so despite the off-gassing from the polluted water here, uh, not even a little bit of polluted oxygen is finding its way up here. So if we just check for... Well, I could add an Atmo sensor that looks... F Since we're doing the not, we're saying make sure there's not oxygen. We could also check for polluted oxygen, I guess. Imagine setting this up every new run. Yeah, this game doesn't have blueprints, so we'd basically have to take a screenshot... But I think if this works well, it could be worth it. It's 
So yeah, just to be safe, I think I should also have... Make sure there's no polluted oxygen. And that won't cost us any more power, just a little bit more refined metal. So we're looking for oxygen and polluted oxygen. And we're feeding that into a knot gate as well as atmospheric pressure below X. And then, and only then, if none of those conditions are met, um... Then we'll pump our hydrogen. Did we finally get vacuum? That didn't take long, actually. Materials, gas, nothing. Perfect. Alright, let's get rid of our extra gas pump. And this as well. Like, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's not like we're going to save a blueprint at the end of this. Alright, so we're going to connect this to power. We're going to connect the water to our electrolyzer. And we're going to get oxygen and hydrogen just, just all over the place at first. This is why... Oh. Oh, we're pumping out hydrogen. Oh, wait, because I forgot to switch this back. So, atmospheric pressure is too low. Don't pump oxygen. Is this working? Somehow I don't think so. Uh, I think we need to be a lot greedier with our... How do we have so much oxygen here? Hmm. The way the gas tiles are really doesn't help. Look at that. As soon as there's hydrogen on this tile, and because it's not all going straight up, it, it sort of hovers around a bit all weird like as soon as this tile doesn't have oxygen we suck in oxygen and hydrogen and that's terrible so we're either going to need a bunch more sensors you have to electrolysis the, the only infinite oxygen oof why do you actually not use three electrolyzers or two? Um, because we're having enough trouble squeezing in the pumps that it takes to support one in the maximum size. Uh, it, it, we want this to double as a room for Dracos as well, is what I'm going for. That's the challenge. Hmm, okay. Um, I could obviously, like, manually prevent this from running until we had more hydrogen, but I really don't want to have to do that. Could we set the Atmo sensor to be a lot stricter? For the top one? This is like, the way the gas behaves really does make this maximum difficulty to set up properly. It's so inconsistent. Okay, I think... I think we need to detect, like, hydrogen down far enough and no oxygen 
a bit higher up? Question mark? I don't want to have to do like a row of sensors. That just seems over the top. I don't think there's the slightest danger of sucking hydrogen in um, with these pumps down here. Not for a long time. It is reaching a uh, reliable saturation. It's really just when it starts that it's really bad. What's the pressure here? 2200. How high does oxygen get? I think it's like 2,000-ish, right? How high does hydrogen get, pressure-wise? 1,600, 1,700? Which means we can't set this thing too high. No matter the mass, gas always takes one tile. Yeah, I know. Try to set it up the way... Between the pump and electrolyzer is only one tile at the top. What? Set it up the way that between pump and electrolyzer is only one tile at the top. We need the gap so that we can have a, a sensor system that's going to be safe. So that we don't gasp in oxygen from this one. The idea was, if there's no oxygen de uh, detected at this level, then, uh, and if the pressure is high enough, then we should be fine to gulp in hydrogen. However, pump pump at bottom tiles, hydrogen is at the top. Pump pumps? What? Put the sensor on the leftmost position where the ladder is, then the hydrogen floating up won't activate it. It will sometimes. Look at the way it, like, goes left and right. It went all the way over here just now. So I think we would have to go something like... Can we put a sensor, like, here and here? No. Uh, I think we, I think we honestly need two sensors to make sure, like, if we detect hydrogen both here and here, for example, we can probably safely assume this will only get hydrogen. Um, let's remove these extra bits of ladder. And the shearing station is going to be in the way. But we could maybe use this... Wait, can we put the shearing station here instead? Stations... Shearing station... It can't be where the sensors are. Okay. So maybe... Gas element sensor. One here, one here. If both of these detect hydrogen, Element, hydrogen, wait, it's got this set up, hasn't it? Yeah, copy settings. You can also use filter gate and set it to five seconds. Filter gate? So it only activates when hydrogen is present for all of five seconds? Oh, that would be convenient. Filter gate. Buffer gate opens a green signal if the input receive, is receiving a green signal. Continues sending for the amount of buffer time. And filters the opposite of that, is it? Uh, 
let's see. Only lets a green signal through if the input has received a green signal for longer than the selected filter time. That's probably what we want. Continue outputting a red signal if the green signal did not last long enough. Do we still want to... No, probably not. Okay, let's make room. Get rid of this for the moment. Um... So we're going to want a gas element sensor. We could go ahead and wait till there's plenty of hydrogen. So I could put it down here, perhaps. And filter gate. And then... I could probably just run the atmosphere sensor through the filter gate as well. Atmos sensor... doesn't really matter where. Self and Sal, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Crossroads Inn? Was that the chill building one, or am I mixing it up? Selfaya, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rainbow Tea Kitty, welcome, welcome also. Semtexagon, welcome, welcome. We were just trying to figure out if we can squeeze a Draco stable and electrolysis into the one room with space and gravity acting as the filters for the gases instead of paying, uh, what is it, 120 watts uh, for the gas filter. Having lots of fun with Crossroads in, but just hit a pile of bugs. Uh-oh. So, like Factorio? A pile of bugs. Oh, the, the actual, like, game bugs. I actually thought... Not those bugs, lol. Yeah, I actually thought you meant, like, uh, xenomorphs or giant cockroaches or something for a second there. We don't want that kind of wire. We want automation wire. Oh, we still need a knot gate. Uh, let's see. Knot gate. So we're going to go... Or is it knot gate and then filter gate? I think it's knot gate and then filter gate. Data Gnome, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Filter gate. In your defense, I also thought it was about insects because of the wording. Okay. All right, so we're going. We're going to go. I think I actually want to make sure we detect hydrogen instead. But I would have to either have... I would either need an AND gate instead of a NOT gate. Crossroads demon is a cockroach. <laughs> okay. That's terrifying. Even if it's a joke. Let's just say not oxygen. What if we end up with polluted oxygen in here? Yeah, I think we do have to go positive signal to look for hydrogen specifically. 
Uh, let me just plan this out somewhere where we've got space. We're looking for hydrogen. We're looking for... Atmosphere is greater than X. And we want both of these conditions to be met for... An amount of time before... We say all good. So it's going to be... And, and then filter, right? I'm pretty sure we won't have trouble fitting this. Pretty sure. Uh, let me just put the gas pump there first. So we're going to put a couple of sensors, and gate, filter sensor... Uh, sensor? Filter gate, I think, can go here or here. Seems good. That'll be our sensors. That's our end. That's our filter. Atmo sensor. Element sensor. Mm, that should be it. And here we're just saying not hydrogen and not at mo below an amount. Uh, that should be fine still. This is in space. Uh, no. Well, yes and no. We haven't reached the space part of oxygen not included, but it is happening in space. If that makes sense. Mr. Cupholder, nice name. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hydrogen. We're looking for hydrogen and we're looking for... I don't know, 1500 grams. And we're looking for... It's been happening for at least five seconds because when we do run this, we get... Bits of hydrogen floating all over the place, being a bit weird and unpredictable as far as our sensor is concerned. Alright, I think we're ready. Do we have just oxygen and hydrogen in, in here? I think so. And this is 96 tiles, perfect. We've got our water, uh, we've messed up our power. And the shearing station should have no trouble finding room over here. Fantastic. Alright, so that's going to look something like that. Um, conductive wire. Bridge. And this is on its own circuit. I do want to see if the hydrogen can keep the whole thing running. But... To get it started, we'll flick this switch. It's on an asteroid, yes. This is being built in the vacuum of space. Um, it's being built... This is the vacuum of space. This is the surface of our asteroid. And this is a bunch of weird biomes that we've got inside it. Um, and we're playing in sandbox mode for the moment. Because I had an idea and... It's a complicated idea and tricky to build, and I knew it would take quite some time to tr to even try to build it um, without the sandbox. So this is an electrolyzer. It's going to convert water to hydrogen and oxygen. We're going to use the oxygen for not dying, and we're also going to use the oxygen for mealwood plants. In the same room. We're going to use the hydrogen for power to help pay for the electrolysis or even maybe completely pay for it. Um, and as an added bonus, uh, Drecos that we need oxygen and hydrogen in the same room for to get the most out of, they're going to live in the same room.
caught sight of a vacuum tile and didn't hear you properly and thought it was being built up top. Yeah, I can, uh, I can just delete stuff and that includes gas. This is now vacuum. But yeah, I think we're probably ready to test this now. I want to see what it looks like with the initial... Initial go. Why is there no power? Did we run out of coal? I think we ran out of... Why didn't they supply it? We've got lots of coal, apparently. Coal. Okay. So we should have power coming in. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so the water is there already. Did I... Oh, I flicked the switch wrong. Here we go. Electrolysis go. And gas. We've got oxygen. We've got hydrogen. We've got a weird bunch of tiles of... Oh, there's water here. Huh. That's weird. Okay. Maybe I should have made it um, mesh tiles on the off chance that we somehow get water in here. Anyway. Uh, our hydrogen tiles are flitting about the place kind of randomly. But if they go in front of the sensor, it's not going to trigger sucking up the hydrogen and oxygen, which we don't want, into our hydrogen generator. Uh, this tile will have to be hydrogen for five seconds. And we'll also need enough... Um, we've estimated like 1500 grams of hydrogen in one tile here as well. Alright, I think we can speed this up. It does appear to be working. We're reaching atmospheric pressure on and off. That's fine, I guess. It is oxygen that it's finding here, though. Six Gunsum, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so I guess that's just going to keep going. We're pumping the oxygen out. Uh, I, w I don't want to say as fast as we can, because we're only pumping it out if we reach a certain pressure here. Because we need some oxygen in here just so that the meal wood will grow. Uh, and six should be enough for the maximum number of Drekos. Isn't Electrolyzer hitting pressure block constantly? Yeah, it does that. Uh, every build that I've made for the Electrolyzer, even if we have the pumps right next to it, uh, that's happened. That's just something that we got to put up with. I don't know if... Hmm. It should get there, because we are sucking the oxygen out when it reaches a certain pressure down here. It's just going to slow it down a bit. What's the minimum pressure for mealwood? Air pressure, 150 grams. That's like nothing. Alright, we can set this as... Say, 500? I can't put an Atmos sensor on top of this stuff. I don't think we can put the critter drop-off on top of the ladder either. 
So this is as far down as the Atmos sensor can be, so we definitely need to set it a bit higher. I need the dupes to mop this up, actually. Um, let's get rid of the glass forge and the the, the nothing. You, you saw nothing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's get the dupes over here to mop this up. It's uh, probably good to test it this way after all. Sort of half the point of this build was that we don't need to airlock this properly. The dupes can come in and out without oxygen masks or anything. How are you still hurt? Triage cart. Can I just put this down? Will that work? There you go. Sheep say met. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Blast, welcome as well. Only have two tiles for oxygen to move down. The water makes it bad. Yeah, probably. Alright. We are gaining hydrogen up the top. Given the way this is behaving, I think we could definitely set the hydrogen sensor a bit higher. In fact, I'm sure we could put it just one tile below. Um, uh, we could probably put it just one tile below the gas pump, as long as we have a filter gate set to I don't know how many seconds. Not even sure we really need the Atmo sensor, to be honest. If we've got a filter gate saying we've had hydrogen on this tile for this many seconds, um, and depending on where we place the uh, the element sensor, we can deduce that we have a decent air pressure of hydrogen up where the pump is. Wouldn't do it one below? Yeah, maybe not. I mean, if I set it one below and it had to be like 30 seconds, well, I guess this tile would have already triggered, maybe. But yeah, the filter, uh, the filter gate is a huge help. That makes it very easy. I guess the Drekos aren't necessarily going to spend that much time in the Hydrogen if we only let it come up to here. So we could maybe put the sensor even further down. But for the purposes of this testing, um, this is fine for now. Will Dreco spend enough time in Hydrogen? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking about. That was why we were going to make a tall Dreco room, after all. The Hydrogen never ever goes down a tile. So... So we could put this as far down as here, and theoretically the hydrogen should never escape. Theoretically. What's this, carbon dioxide? Yeah. What? Does meal would work with CO2? Yeah, it does. It's fine.
What if we just didn't have these pumps down here and this was open? Is that actually okay? Uh, I say as the dupe is just standing in the airlock, keeping it open for no reason. That would drastically reduce the power cost, to say the least. It would also reduce the amount of stuff and space we need. We would literally just need an electrolyzer, a single gas pump, and some circuitry. That's pretty much it, right? In which case, our design where we're trying to squeeze the Drekos in at the same time uh, could probably get a lot better. Let's uh, remove some of this. Look at all that air rushing in. Beautiful. So probably... Well, first of all, we need six farm tiles. And I probably do want the thinnest version of this. So the bottom is probably close to our final version already. But then I think the electrolyzer can go the minimum number of tiles above it. Doesn't really matter if it's in the middle or on the corner. Especially given the way we've seen the gas just flits around kind of randomly. Oh, we're about to see the pump start working, I think. We need five seconds of this being hydrogen. And we need more gas pressure. Since it's flitting between hydrogen and oxygen on this tile. What did I set the gas pressure to? 1500. Oh, there we go. Looking good. And it stopped because gas pressure. The filter gate is really going to help as well with making sure that the gas pump uh, gets a big packet of gas. Or not the, f the first one wasn't very big for some reason, but this is much better. 500 grams of hydrogen. Yeah, it's... Uh, we're getting the most efficient packets for the most part. And now this thing could theoretically run itself? We might want to let a bit more accumulate before we try that. Zaxon, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I had my electrolyzers leaking into my base for like a thousand cycles with a hydrogen pump at my rocket entrance. Oh no. Side-by-side -side comparison? Yeah, I was thinking we could do that. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's remove all of the gas just to be safe. Whoa, careful. I don't think we can remove it all this way, actually. Or, no, we probably can. Can I just, like, delete these tiles here and end up with a perfect vacuum? Make it a bit wider. I think I do have to move the mouse around. I don't want to misclick. I 
don't think this is going to work, but you wouldn't... If that were the case, you wouldn't expect the pump to be able to get it all out, actually. Screw it, we're just going to delete what's in here. Oops. Actually, I have an idea of how we can... Oh, I didn't want to delete that, that would be bad. Of how we can make this a vacuum. Is this going to work? Let's remove the rest carefully. And... Yes, that is a vacuum. Fantastic. Found a blueprint mod that works well for rocket command module interiors. Not so much for anything else though. That's weird. So I don't think this has been damaged yet, right? Um, can we get the dupes to repair it just so that I can... Good job. Copper ore. Uh, what am I... Here we go. Copper ore. Why is it so purple? Let's get some to repair this and we'll, then we'll cut off access to it. And we'll be able to tell if it's taken any damage from sucking in the wrong... Um... Are you not going to repair this? Repair errand? Oh, there we go. Why are they all hanging around up here? Probably because their last job was here? Um, how about... Some of this. Get out of here. Okay, so if we see any damage on the hydrogen generator, we're going to know it sucked up something other than hydrogen with our filterless gas pump. Okay, so we need... oh no. Let's, let's make a little buffer around this. Um... Exactly six farm tiles, one critter drop off, a ladder so we can go up, and a electrolyzer as far down as we can get it while still having the farm tiles. So that's going to be here. I guess I could put it here. May as well put it in the middle. Um, that puts us down to... Well, this is too many tiles still. That's fine. Let's just build it and worry about the tile count once we're done. Um, but I don't think it's going to be a whole lot of trouble to build, though. We could put... The grooming station here. The shearing station here, and then I kind of want to put more farm tiles because do we have a do we have a ceiling plant that likes hydrogen? Pinch of pepper? Was that the one? Uh... Irrigation, fertilization, air pressure. I think this doesn't need hydrogen, but it'll tolerate hydrogen. And our Drekos will eat that. I don't love the idea of having precisely the amount of mealwood that would support the maximum number of Drekos alone. Pinch of pepper likes hotter temperature too. What sort of temperature are we looking at? 
probably not that much, right? I think all of this temperature was coming from our playing with steam earlier. This build is with open oxygen flow down bottom, so no gas pumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're avoiding filters. Um, we're, we're avoiding filters so that we don't have to pay the power for it. And we're avoiding having to have a proper airlock. And we want to also make it work with Dracos. They need 35 degrees. Uh, that's a bit much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's the other ceiling plant? Um, there's two, right? Pinch of pepper. And what? I guess I could just put down an upside down farm tile. Or not. I see Dasha salt vine, which we... It needs chlorine. I also haven't seen one of those before, so there's that. Is that the only two vertical, uh, like, hanging plants? So we don't really have one that fits the bill. Um, we could maybe have more farm tiles. Maybe. How many tiles is this now? 113. Uh, and we want a gas pump right at the top, wherever that's going to be. Okay, so... What if we had... Well, if we had all farm tiles here, the gas would struggle to get up a little bit. So maybe... Like this? But if we're, if we're growing more mealwood in here, then we're not getting as much hydrogen for the Dracos to frolic in. Are you extracting oxygen from this room via gas pump? Uh, no, it's just going to be basically an open door, actually. Um, or rather, a pneumatic door? Is the goal. What's the plan to keep temperature low for meal lice plants? Um, in my current save I've got uh, water pipes that pump cool... Uh, was it cool? I forget the name of the geyser but it pumps out negative 10 degree brine and I just pump that through the base to keep everything cool. Um, Alright, so that's everything we need for the Drekos, right? One, two, three, four. And then we just need to pump up the top and appropriate sensors. And we're going to have just air being pushed out this door as maybe our... I, I guess we could have a door on the other side as well. Since we don't need like an airlock. So just air being pushed out the doors is going to be how the getting the oxygen out works. I could also add more airflow tiles. So anywhere below where the hydrogen comes out should be fine. And we could even make like these airflow tiles if we wanted to. thought you were referring to the design of the room on the right that you just built, which did have pumps. Yeah, no, I've got another idea that I want to try. Um, so we're definitely not getting oxygen thrown into the hydrogen generator. Uh, I don't foresee this being able to run itself, though, somehow. Uh, why don't we just attach a big battery first before we say that? And 
why not some automation wire? That's already set up, right? I don't really have to change much. We'll let that battery charge. I'll disconnect this, and then... We'll disconnect the whole thing and see if it can't go net positive. I don't think it will. But this might. How many tiles is this now? 113. We need to drop... Uh, 17 tiles? It's kind of awkward since we have 8. Where's my delete thing? So this is 16, right? Uh, F11... 97 tiles, we need exactly one more tile just arbitrarily taken up. And I think it may as well be a tile that the dupes need, uh, in case we need to do some kind of maintenance with the gas pump. So we're going to go sensor. I think we could just do something as simple as detect hydrogen for at least 5 seconds or 20 seconds or something. And that should be more than enough to ensure that this is immersed in hydrogen. That's actually so simple. Wire. Wire. And detect hydrogen for 20 seconds. And that's it. So the whole thing... Discounting the pump to bring water in. Which is like a tenth... It's actually like 24 watts because... It brings water in way quicker than the electrolyzer can consume it. Although... I said that before I understood that... It costs per operation, even if it's not sending us a whole packet. So that could actually be not so great. But let's pretend they're running full time. Um, 240, 480... Uh... 560 watts and we've got an 800 watt hydrogen generator um, consuming so it should question mark be able to run itself even accounting for the inefficiencies I like this design so much more. It Look at it. Like, it's so much simpler. It's so much easier to look at. Um, and it's probably a lot more power efficient. Okay, so let's... Let's add a battery here. And let's disconnect this. Connect that up over here. And see if it can't run itself. Now that it's immersed in hydrogen. I guess we'll let the battery drain a bit first. Now... Is how much? 1.26 kilowatts. Let's just use this wire. Whoops. Uh, whoops, 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 whoops. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And power switch. Drunk electrician. 
Yes. Alright, so we have power. We need water. Let's steal this. And just to confirm, this is vacuum. Fantastic. I think we're good to let whatever in here now, actually. That's sort of half the point of this build. And just to make sure... Maybe not that big. Let's delete a bunch of oxygen. We're definitely not going to be over pressure here anytime soon. Uh, what's the shortcut for the automation grid? Equals. No, I wanted the overlay actually. Room overlay? Why is there no... Oh, have we not researched it? Is that how that works? Automation overlay. Uh, I don't think that's what we're looking for. Is this the one? Probably. Let's get ourselves a... Missing research station. Yes, I know. I was just looking for it. I thought something serious had happened. Uh, stations. Research station. And go. Fantastic. You know what? Have a couple more. And they stopped. Beautiful. All right, electrolysis is happening. Hydrogen won't be detected here for 20 seconds at a time for a while. And this is fine. We've run out of battery though, so let's switch this back on. So let's switch this back on. Oh. I don't remember breaking that. It was probably with uh, deleting the oxygen here. F12? Uh, Steam. Steam says screenshot. But also, I don't know... Yeah, I guess I will, I'll have to rebind my Steam screenshot if I'm going to use that. Or I could rebind this shortcut key. I can get the overlay, I just have to select automation wire. It's just a couple of clicks. Alright, I am going to leave that running for a couple of minutes. We'll do one more words on stream today. I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? I thought of something... Uh, oh, that's right. I remember now. I was going to say I'd forgotten, but this is it. Uh, let's get the words on stream off the stream. There we go. And we'll continue that another day. Um, but yeah, I actually realized I should use two of these. Um, filter gates? No, a filter gate and a buffer gate is what I had in mind. So we're going to wait until we detect hydrogen in this tile for 20 seconds. And once that does happen, we're going to run our gas pump for 20 seconds. Seems good, right? I could probably look up exactly how long one operation uh, for the gas pump lasts. Then again, I don't think it's possible to do half an operation. So that's probably fine. Um, this thing... Oh, it's got no power? Because I broke it. Whoops. I was going to say, this thing was not working because it was over pressure earlier. Um, that's why I was deleting oxygen over here. And considering the primary point of electrolysis is oxygen... That'll be totally fine, but for our testing purposes right now, we do want the electrolyzer to keep going. The hydrogen is not exactly just a bonus because we want it for the Dracos, but um, the, it sort of helps pay for the whole system power-wise. Alright, so this is going to take a little while. We are at max speed. I guess we can't go faster, even though there's not a whole lot happening in this save and we are in sandbox. Do we not have a way to speed things up even more? I could spawn some hydrogen in here. It wouldn't be the most thorough test, but it does look like we're getting there anyway. I thought there was a super speed. Not sure if it's a mod or part of Sandbox. That's a mod. Alright. Can we all agree that this is clearly going to put a bunch of hydrogen up here? Would it be okay to cheat some in? Uh, let's see. Hydrogen. Gas. And just put it here. It might escape. It's fine. Oh no! Prison break. And why have you stopped now? It's gas pressure. Think that's fair to assume? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, probably also, again, delete a bunch of oxygen close to the room. Oh, and these, uh, these extra tiles are not helping. Actually, the ones around the airflow tiles. So, even if we did have pumps, uh, pushing the oxygen out into the base, it's really just... It's the same thing, but with extra steps. This is just skipping the step of using pumps. We could maybe have a pump, like, directly outside this room, and it would have about the same effect. Alright, let's cheat in some more uh, hydrogen. Mass all of it. Oh, look at it go. Um, that's not quite the behavior I expected. I guess I should have, actually. 
Alright, this is it. And let's look at the automation display. Can we look at materials and automation at the same time? I guess not. Left shift plus F12. Does that give us the screenshot? It does not. But it's not working. Left shift plus... Oh, F2. There we go. So wiring... The two different kinds of wiring are on a modifier. That makes sense. Alright, when does this hydrogen disappear? Oh, as soon as... As soon as oxygen finds its way to this tile just once, I think then we get... Uh, we lose this signal here? Yes. And then... Oh, I love the display. That's great. That is so good for debugging. Wow. And then after 20 seconds we stop this. Cool. That's actually quite a bit of hydrogen. Uh, and let's get rid of this power right here. We've got half a tank of hydrogen here, so... We should be able to prove that this thing can probably run itself. Even the three-pump design is gaining hydrogen surplus. In theory, yes. But there's a few uh, hidden mechanics and things that make us lose efficiency. Or rather, the two-pump version with a filter was theoretically net positive on power. But the thing is, uh, when we get a tiny little packet of hydrogen... Okay, the old design that I was using... Uh, pumps on either side of an electrolyzer and a filter uh, directly above that. I think it was here. And then on the right we had a hydrogen generator. And I think that's basically it. Hydrogen goes here, oxygen goes out this way. Like that. So this gives us 800 kilowatts. And this would be 240, 480, 600, 720. Um, if it was another 120, it would be over. In theory. So three pumps would be too many. But the two pumps are what it theoretically takes to keep up with what the electrolyzer puts out. But uh, from what I've seen, uh, what I've been told, what I understand, what I've seen happen, I think. That's not entirely scientific. Uh, a single operation for the gas pump costs the same every time. And sometimes it's picking up a really, really small amount of hydrogen. Um, we can actually probably show this over here. Drunk plumber. Um, how about... How about what? How about we borrow some power again? this type of wire. And I'll put a switch on this so it's isolated once it's running. Uh, and we want the oxygen to just get deleted, to be honest. Can I make a tile that's... Uh, exposed to space with the editor, or is that not possible? That would be very handy. Um, but anyway, you can see these tiny little bits of hydrogen that get sucked up by the pump. Um, 
it costs the same to pick up that 43.6 grams of hydrogen as it does 500 grams of oxygen if we get a full gulp of oxygen. You could use a high pressure vent. Oh, that's true. I forgot it. I forgot those existed. I haven't been using them yet. Um, but yeah, that's one reason that the hydrogen generator doesn't quite pay for this. Uh, it just sort of mitigates the power cost. Um, but this thing, we have no filters. We've only got one gas pump. Um, instead of two gas pumps to get rid of the oxygen, we're just letting it flow out into the base, which is what the point of it is in the first place. Um, and we're literally just doing 120 watts most of the time, 240 watts when it's time to pump uh, hydrogen. I guess there's no harm in letting it go to maximum, is there? Oh, it probably wastes a little bit of fuel. Hmm, at this rate it might take a minute to see if this is running itself. Let's see, we've got exactly 75, or exactly half full, 75 kilograms of hydrogen in the tank. That seems, that's, that's like the best starting point we could ask for, to be honest. If we see this thing climb, uh, hydrogen wise, or dip, we should be able to infer that it is or isn't running itself. Considering the gas pump is not running and won't be for a little while, and we're not even seeing the amount drop, like it's so slow, I'm thinking tentatively, probably, this thing can run itself. How much hydrogen is the generator using for one tick? Uh, it is only... where is it? Uh, 100 grams per second, whereas the electrolyzer can put out 112 grams per second. So, theoretically net positive on hydrogen as well. Even if it was running itself. Assuming that there aren't certain inefficiencies hidden here and there that... I mean, for one thing, there's the leakage from the battery. I don't know if... If we got rid of the battery and just had this connected like that, does it... Would it waste hydrogen without the automation wire? Or how does that work? I think all the hydrogen got consumed because the, despite the buffer being so small, it wasn't enough to be net positive on hydrogen with our old design. So it didn't really matter that we didn't have a battery. Gen burning all fuel. Yeah. Do we have success? I think so. I think this is the design, right here. Oh, I don't want to wreck the pipes. That was close. Uh, I think this is what I want to build in future. It's so simple, so elegant, and so efficient. We have a gas element sensor looking for hydrogen. We have a filter gate saying that we have to have that green signal for 20 seconds. And then, just because we want to, uh, if we do get a green signal for that, we're going to run the gas pump for at least 20 seconds. 
none of this costs any extra power. None of the circuitry does. The electrolyzer costs 120 watts. The gas pump costs 240 watts when it's running. And the hydrogen generator is capable of 800 watts. Uh, which is less than an electrolyzer puts out. Advanced automation. Oh, how deep is it into research? Um... Duplicate checkpoint, XOR, memory toggle. Oh, here it is. Buffer and filter. So we can get it with just regular research. Well, of course we can. I've never made yellow research, but like, it's not that deep. It's really not that deep for how good it is. For how useful those uh, filter and buffers are. Especially the filter gate in this case. That just massively, massively simplified our circuit. Electrolyzer almost does not run? What do you mean by that? Base has too much oxygen. Yeah, that's fine. Because the point of the electrolyzer is to make oxygen. And getting hydrogen and having it in the same room for our Dracos is a bonus. Hard to constantly delete oxygen here. Yeah. We're still at exactly 75 grams of, uh, kilograms of hydrogen. The battery hasn't even depleted yet. How fast does it drain without even using it? 400 joules per cycle, capacity 20 kilojoules. So 40% of 1 20th of 40,000 uh, let me go 40, 000. Sorry, 20,000 over 400 is a 50th. Yeah, it's 2%. Over an entire cycle, we lose 2% of the smart battery uh, of just from power drain. That's not a whole lot. 2% per cycle, that's right. Insane beard drunker? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cheater? How am I cheating? This isn't my clat stream, after all. Why are we not researching? No researchers assigned? I thought I saw them researching before. Skills. Uh. I don't want to give the poor things... Is it because we need better research? That's probably it, isn't it? They need morale. How do I how do I immediately give them morale with uh with sandbox mode on? How about What's that plant called? Oh, that's not how we put this in. Rush, no, spawn? Spawner. What am I spawning? Oh, food, I guess. Here we go. Bud. Buddy bud seed. Have some buddy bud. And... Some floral scent. Get that morale up so we can have you do some research. Can they even reach that? Probably not. Surely first base copium? What? 
Is it about them researching or unlocking things? Because their 100% is a command to unlock stuff. Uh, but not to give them skills. Uh... Yeah, I just wanted to, like, make them research this and watch how fast it happens. It's fine. It's no big deal. How's our hydrogen here? It's almost there. So, I don't think we could make this part any smaller, right? We've got... Oh, yes, we could. Eh, it wouldn't be that great. Unless I want to put the drop-off somewhere else? We could have one extra... Oh. If I put the critter drop-off way up here, we could have one extra plant style... Uh, plant tile, which would be good for my peace of mind. Come to think of it, we could also just have... No, uh, we can't have a door here because this is where the hydrogen comes out. It could theoretically get out. Which I'm sure means it would sometimes get out. Drekos cannot leave that tile? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, I guess... This is 96, right? It's 95 tiles? No, it's 96. I want to have that one tile that we use for the drop-off. Also, we could have moved all of these down a tile, which means we could have more hydrogen. Is the reason that I wanted to move the drop-off. Uh, I guess we could always just... Put it here, and we could use ladders to get across this. That still counts as 96 tiles, right? It looks a little bit less good, I suppose. But we could have, um, we could have the Draco grooming and shearing stations a bit closer to the doors. And have the plants in here just the right size. And we could have one more tile, or rather eight more tiles of hydrogen for them to play in. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do next run for the Drekos. Uh, it should be pretty simple to have uh, filter gates and buffer gates by the time we're building this, right? How early do we get the electrolyzer? Very, very early. Like, really early. In fact... So early that we wouldn't even have the, um, if we went for it quickly, we wouldn't even have the ventilation or the hydrogen generator to support it. So yeah, that's all pretty attainable pretty early on. The only reason that I'm not, uh, like, super excited to start a new game right now just because of this build is... We have our negative uh, 10 degree slush geyser that's so close to the base and it's making keeping it cool so very, very easy. Now the question is, do scales grow faster in this room? Uh, yes, because the Drekos uh, spend more time in the hydrogen. On average, quite likely. And yeah, only if the Dracos cooperate and don't spend all their time around the food. But they probably won't do that. They just sort of walk around at random, except for when they're hungry. Doesn't the hydrogen level depend on where you let the oxygen out, not where the electrolyzer is? Uh, it's both. Because the hydrogen comes out exactly here, the top left tile of the electrolyzer. 
and it never ever goes down a tile um, because nothing is as light as hydrogen. So if we have the electrolyzer here, we can have airflow tiles here, which means the oxygen shouldn't have much trouble getting out even with pump, even without pumps. Standard room is 24 by 4 tiles. So Dracos have 24 tiles of hydrogen to crawl along. How much tiles exposed to hydrogen is exposed to this one? Uh, well, my the rooms I was making before was 96 tiles. Let's see. It's longer than this. I mean, this is 96 tiles as well. Let's do something up here real quick before we finish. Uh, we got tiles and tiles, and this is still too small, 96. I think that's it. Yeah, so we got 24 by 1, maybe 2, 3, maybe 26 tiles. Here we have like... 8 and 7 and 7, 14 plus 8, uh, 22, it's pretty close. Oh, and like, two more tiles here, I guess. It's almost the same, if we think of it that way, for how many tiles the Dracos will walk along have hydrogen in them. I was thinking hydrogen pressure would build and push the oxygen out. Maybe if you put the sensor lower? Uh, this is about as low as the sensor can go. I can't build it anywhere here. And we definitely don't want hydrogen coming down here anyway. Martian one? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah. That'll definitely be a build I use next time. Maybe I'll even go to the trouble of making this in our current playthrough. Although, considering all of my rooms are exactly... Well, not exactly, but roughly shaped like this. I don't know where I'm going to elegantly fit it. But that's fine. We could maybe do a couple of these side by side. Although, the closer we put them together, the more of a problem we have with um, air pressure. Although, again, the point is the oxygen. So if we're at max pressure with oxygen, we're doing fine. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, Whiskers. And everyone else. Takes a lot of hydrogen to fill the room also. Yeah, but it'll get there, and that's fine. And we're maintaining a specific amount of hydrogen with our circuit logic. Alright. Who is playing oxygen not included? Imagine oxygen pressure drops and hydrogen leaks out. I don't think it's terribly likely. Like, it's still... It's still the lightest uh, gas, right? Anyway, uh, if that happens, it happens. We're going to find out. Let's drop in on Discount Engineer today. Hey, Morpheus, thanks for hanging out to you too. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Electrolyzer needs to be offline for a long time for that. Oh yeah, because the electrolyzer is the source of the oxygen, so... We're putting out oxygen and hydrogen at a specific ratio. So I don't think it's possible. Yeah, good point. Probably. I mean, the whole point of this build 
Okay, there were multiple points for this build. One of the points of this build was, can we do a version that doesn't need an airlock? And I think we succeeded on that front, on making something much more power efficient, and also squeezing Dracos into the same room. I'm quite happy with it. Right, let's drop in on Discount Engineer. And away we go. The sand reservoir. And it's going to bring the uh, temperature right down. There might be an issue though. No, 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 it's fine because we're going to. That's not a ladder. That's a uh, 